Hey y'all, this is Ishtai Kinder Fox. Welcome to my stream. I could not be patient with this. And also, look who I have! I haven't gotten Robin. Not sure if I will be able to. Um. I guess I might be able to get pulls eventually. Uh, I'm not sure if my luck will hold out. I tried Akron pretty hard and wasn't able to get her at all. So. <laughs> my past is all right, gradually um, coming to light. Sadly, because YouTube and people have no fucking chill on putting spoilers in the Dude, titles in and the thumbnails, I do know a few things. First of all, Sunday is, an e uh, is a boss in this. Second of all, um, apparently Acheron's name gets revealed, which apparently Honkai Impact people are having a field day about. Um, one more. I mean that I've forgotten it. Maybe it's a good thing. They tried to erase it as quick as my one more thing. I swear. Well, being that it's, it's somehow left my mind anyways, I don't think it matters. Um. No. Oh. Have one more. You ignorant crow pose. I mean, I, I've run out of money, by the way. <laughs> so I've been trying to level. Out of entering up. On. No. Uh. All right, let's begin. Festival, Astral Dude Express. Fedicotti's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. Accompanied by clocky <laughs> after 12 system hours, this grand celebration will commence with much fanfare. <laughs> hey, ho! <laughs> Sorry I missed yesterday. Um, There was storms in the area, and during the time that normally I would be streaming, I was in the first floor ba bathroom with a bunch of angry cats with each other, um, cause we had a stun- uh, a tornado warning. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fluffy. I really have something urgent to attend to, so I have no choice but to resort to asking this favor of you all. You hear it? I it was kinda quiet. Since you already know what you're doing, I'll also have to remind you of its risks. <laughs> hey, partner, what's with the hostility? I thought pulling this thing out was just a way of saying hello. What, are you fucking American? For the last time, state your identity and purpose. Uh, nothing bad happened, but it's, it's something you get used to in Tornado Alley. My name's Boot Hill. And I'm a galaxy ranger. With a slightly synthetic voice. I, I get to judge uh, him because I'm southern and his ranger. southern accent. You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Did you think we all went extinct? <laughs> well, 
That's the price you pay for being off grid for too long. The righteous heroes of the hunt would never hijack the Astral Express. Uh. <laughs> I ain't hijacked anything. <laughs> what, chatting with someone while holding a gun is considered a hijacking? Well, it's not considered a friendly conversation. Uh, it probably is. Pardon my frankness, but there are plenty of rumors in the cosmos regarding the Galaxy Ranger's current status. And none of them are pretty stories. I have a hard time believing you. Oh, this is hilarious. The tale that this bunch of fools spin is getting out of hand. There's even a bit about the Galaxy Rangers being turned into gibbons by Dr. Primitive and they're in some valley screwing around on swings. You mean fucking around? Of course. I know you won't believe me. Which is also why, similarly, I have a hard time believing that you're the real Nameless. This is fucking the Astral Express! See the bullets in this gun? Nine millimeter. An eternal classic. I may need the Astral Express's help right now, but if you're an imposter just like that one, <laughs> then this bullet might just end up in my head. What? I can't allow myself to be exposed to danger. That's just the way it goes. So, you all have to first prove yourselves. <laughs> huh? Dog's like, Where are you going? <laughs> hmm. Recognize this? <laughs> it's a model budger. The Jade Abacus of Ally and Oath. The CN Joe really gave this to you guys. Are we really gonna summon him for this? Hmm, model fudger? Because apparently we can't say motherfucker. This is the Jade Abacus gifted to the Express by the Senjo Lohu's general, Jing Yuan. Its presence on board serves as the Senjo Alliance's official recognition of the Express. Is that enough? Do we just have that Not laying bad, around? Kiddo. Do we just And across these sprawling stars, a gentle squeeze is all it takes to rustle up a whole legion of cloud knights. I hate we're using fudging as now, a curse word. I reckon that'd be one fudging sight to be old. Hmm. Now it's your turn. It's been ages since the Galaxy Rangers had the spotlight shown on them. We ain't equipped with such fancy gadgets but it's not fancy though enough to know the way to handle these types of situations is draw easy as pie violence all right then feel free to toss any questions my way let's see if my answers can't turn your trust if your gut tells you otherwise still ain't too late to show me the door let's say this and why is why would i play along very, very soft country. Like, they probably told him to tone it down, if but it's I pretty good. If I truly am a real Galaxy Ranger, you stand to lose nothing. <laughs> Actually, scratch that. He, he fully used the word nothing. All right, then. Tell me. What kind of organization are the Galaxy Rangers? Hey, Fox, I'm judging uh, somebody friend, southern or country. Well, technically it's country horrible. more. I don't think I can even consider us an organization to begin with. Everyone's I just realized on their his own faded path along the hunt. With their own resolute sense of righteousness and not so welcome among such so-called universal values. Hmm, this reply does not instill trust. And only makes your predicament more precarious. I'm guessing you're gonna ask about some form of shared faith, right? But us Galaxy Rangers don't need that sort of thing. What brings us together is a shared bottom line. Well, let me make something clear real quick. He, he's at, he's putting too many syllables in words that I know that Southerners would not. 
put syllables in because we are lazy and we get rid of syllables. Never bully the weak. Never kill the innocent. Autograph. These oaths aren't some lofty beliefs, but the fundamental bottom line that one must never cross as a person. As Galaxy Rangers, we strictly adhere to the bottom line. When someone crosses them, the hunt's vengeance will surely come knocking. Hi, Rose. How are you? And in this moment, the other crucial meaning of bottom line comes into play. As long as you don't cross it, you're free to do whatever you please. You you safe with the weather? You safe with the fox? Hmm. Uh, also, you Second fox, how's question. the weather? Why do you seek trouble with the Astral Express? I already said that I seek no trouble. I must go to Pinnacone for a matter. But I don't have an invite. And I can't even enter the family's hotel doors. If only I could borrow the Nameless's identity. Uh, the entire cosmos knows your guests of the family. Thank you for the entire cosmos knowing this, but we have to put our names down. Uh, aren't the Galaxy Rangers also esteemed guests? Oh, you hit the nail on the head. This is why I'm here. It's fine if I tell you. The Rangers are pursuing an imposter. A son of a nice lady posing as one of us. She's son of a nice lady. Right nice lady. My informant is a memo keeper. She's the same as all memetic organisms, uh, appearing one moment and gone the next. Uh, she scares the fudge out of me. Black Swan? Still, she gave me some vital info. That Galaxy Ranger imposter. Who is it? I mean, summer vaccines are no fun either, but that's because I get a really bad fever when I get vaccines. Is that the third question? Is it a hard question? It isn't. Just that you might not believe me. That person calls herself Acheron. And according to our informant, she could be an emanator of nihility. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> That's what I said. Uh, don't worry. When I first received the news, I had the exact same reaction as you. IX never gives anyone so much as a first glance, and that's perfectly normal. What reason would they have to bequeath strength unto mortals? Then you must know that emanators can also conceal their own identities, which, for many people, it's better that way. Otherwise, there'd be wanton bloodshed across the cosmos. Th there's also wanted bloodshed perhaps, anyways. Turning their back on the path they're supposed to follow. To be fair, whenever I get vaccines, I'm usually sick, so it doesn't really matter what season. I had the good fortune of running into an elation emanator. Its appearance was no different than that of those clowns. If it weren't through sheer luck that I got it drunk, I would have never known of its eminent status. Tempo? Sparkle? Even in the purest hunt. You'll find the Sienjo Alliance under the spotlight and Galaxy Rangers lurking in the shadows. Well, Paths are inevitably a concept until... created by people and exist in planes beyond our understanding. Being under tornado watch, so there was no sleep um, after the tornado warning, um, which kept me up all night. So I, I pretty much slept after that. And hi, Ardwolf. How are you? To reckon that nihility emanators don't exist, well, maybe we just ain't nihilistic enough. <sighs> so, do you understand now? Your companions are in danger, and it's pretty harrowing. If you don't want to believe me, you best send a message I don't message think there was an official tornado, but there were quite a fast. few vortexes and rotations. We don't know what's happening well, tornadoes in the like it, or how much um, of what the memo keeper said is true. Brown. And that Acheron, who knows what she intends to do. I don't know, we're going to switch sides to see...
foot, right? I don't intend to do anything. Oh, good that you're... <laughs> That's not up to you. The fuck? Did, Did you, you know? People who come to the land of dreams for the first time, they'll subconsciously stop to reaffirm that they're still walking on solid ground. And then they will unanimously raise their heads to gaze at the sky. Cool, cool possessed child. I mean, well, technically you're possessed she, which means that you can be an adult and still look like a child. Be it reality or dream. Mind zombies! Staring at the sky is instinctual for humanity. We're making a bird reference, aren't we? Since the day that the golden hour was completed. It's always been there, watching over every single night I mean... of decadence. D -d -d Duh. But now Why are you trying to make a metaphor that sounds mercilessly severed, died with the mist of nihility, and this whole event happened within the course. Of a single slash of a blade. I mean, were you. S did you see what was happening before the blade slice? A single slash of a blade. Isn't really accurate. It was actually two blades, just that the second one was faster. But. but, but uh, no. I mean, I'm gonna throw this out here. Technicality! That's not. I said it first! Many guests who weren't supposed to be invited have gathered at this banquet. Even if the harmony is all embracing, I have no choice but to show some of them the door. For the sake of Penicone and the peace. You think you could take her out? The planet of festivities has no place for you, a puppet of nihility. Those who live in the shadows do not bear the right to tread the illuminated stage. Speaking of living in the shadows, there's probably not much difference between us. It's only polite to reveal your true self, at least when speaking to others. No, I'm gonna just stand here sounding possessed. Penacone's dream master. The watchmaker? No, that's not the watchmaker. <laughs> but that sounded like... <laughs> kill. That's, that's just another reason, reason that you can't stay. stay. Whether you believe it or not, this is a real me. <laughs> One of us? We are one. I have mine. Is this the unity that the family espouses? Yes! They tried to do that to venturing, right? My mortal shell has long since dissipated. The Oak family's 107,336 offspring are now my eyes, ears, and mouth. Spreading joy across dreams when required. And in times of essential need, exiling evil from this haven in my stead. From the sound of it, it seems like you're asking me to leave, Panacone. I am glad that you're an understanding one. Alas, I'm not. Asking if you think you can. Are you threatening me? You were threatening her first! <laughs> I ended it with a period. It was a statement, not a threat. Knowing who I am and still showing such malice. You're not the first, nor will you be the last. This scene played out many times before. And usually, when faced with my questions, most people retort, why can't I? 
The result has invariably been that they can't. You are confident. But be reminded, the family is forgiving, but not weak. The cords of the harmony extend across worlds. If you do not comply, when the blade is unsheathed for even a hair's breadth, you will never be able to escape the eternal centurion's wrath in all of your lifetime. I mean, you just said uh, she could probably beat you up without unsheathing the blade. 137 individuals. That is how many heathens I have exiled since I became Dream Master. Among them were those who once severed my wings, and those who immolated my body. You're mean? And here I stand again, about to add another mark to the tally. I don't think that'll work with an emulator. And you will die. I mean... All of you will. <sighs> but that won't come to pass. I'll do as you ask. I'll leave. A wise choice. I wasn't aware there was a choice. To you, that surely is the only option. Please bear in mind, you and Penicone are of different worlds. Those born on the far bank cannot seek solace across the river. You motherfucker better build a boat. Leave and never return. All right, Scar. The radiance of the planet of festivities is overwhelmingly bright, luring in tricksters, wrongdoers, and criminals. But even the harmony itself will never welcome the self-annihilator of nihility. And even more so, when this self-annihilator heralds the destruction of everything. Your strength is obviously a gift of the sleeping and shapeless, immeasurable and fathomless. I mean, like a tribute yes, yes, yes. spawn from the abyss that brings death and sin to all. Jesus. Akira. A befitting name. I bet she's gonna respond that's not her name. Take it from someone on the other side of your so-called river. You know better than I do that Panacone has already deviated from the Harmony. Whatever your intentions may be, I foresee only one outcome. F. Destruct. Its future holds nothing but nihility. Just like all the worlds that have drowned in their shadow. The bird? Robin's point of... Robin's point... Question mark? The unusual event that occurred moments ago was due to a technical malfunction at Clock Studios Theme Park. The family has promptly responded to secure the area, and we're happy to report that there have been no injuries. Oh, I swear that was no movie shoot. So many chips fell from the sky, and I even caught one of them. But it vanished in an instant before my very eyes. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Are you talking about the Clock Studios theme park incident? Robin, Robin, Robin? Hmm? Yeah, what about it? Oh, Miss Robin, am I seeing things right? It might be Sparkle. <laughs> no need to worry. I apologize for any inconvenience caused to your delightful dream journey. What you just mentioned about the chips really piqued my interest. Would you mind providing more details about the incident? What? The, uh, oh, it was just... Those chips you normally see everywhere. I mean, they the looked more ones, gold. They than... fell from the sky as if it were raining. And then those chips simply disappeared. Uh, it appears 
to be the dream sim tech the Iris family has been developing. Huh? Miss Robin, you mean those Ice. chips were all part of a performance? I but, but I really Shh. This technology hasn't been made public yet. It was originally planned to debut at the Charmony Festival, but it seems it's been leaked. Can you help me keep this secret? The reigning chips were supposed to be part of my act. Oh, uh, I see. Then it all makes sense now. I'll do anything to help make the Charmony Festival a success. Well, it's a good thing you said all that stuff Thank aloud. You. As appreciation, I'd like to give you a token gift. Okay, Sparkle. Oh, this button is... Press it at just the right moment in the celebration. And there could be an unexpected treat I knew in store it. for you. All right. It looks like there are other guests who are also confused. I'll have to excuse myself. Please, enjoy the dreamscape. So many people talking about it. This commotion at the theme park definitely made waves. Pool always rings twice. Out. Are we making Macbeth references now? No, well, actually, to be fair. The family promised they would protect the guests within the dreamscape, but I witnessed a group of organic life forms making their way to the theme park, and soon after, a rip tore through the sky, and black rain started leaking out of the void. Now, the family needs Shakespeare to provide a reasonable explanation, or I'll take my loved ones and return to reality. I thought the dreamscape was supposed to be a paradise. If it's not, then there's no point staying here. It appears the good sir has seen many great events. And it's true that an uninvited guest has unexpectedly entered the dreamscape. However, their target is not the ordinary guests, but the ambassadors of the IPC. The family will certainly ensure that the safety of the guests is of the highest importance. Miss Robin, I know the Bloodhound family has already sealed off the theme park mm -hmm. and has control uh -huh. over the situation. But it won't resolve the problem. The family can try their best to protect their reputation. But as a guest, I don't wish to gamble with my life. But as you can see, sir, no innocent bystanders were affected in this incident. Perhaps the dreamscape is not as perfect as promised. But there's no place safer than dreams under the family's rule. I believe you know this better than I do. If this incident happened in real life, how many people would be able to walk away from it? Um... Hmm. I could stay here, but keep in mind, guests come to Penacone to enjoy the dreamscapes. They do not wish to be entangled in a conflict between the family and the IPC, so let's not have any more unnecessary incidents. Uh-huh. Of course. With the Charmony Festival about to commence, we will spare no effort in our preparations. He's dead set on Rest assured. mutual assurance. To express our apologies, the family has arranged this gift for the guests. Thank you for understanding. Well, as if there's no death in it. You've had oh, bit to you, you too. Hello. May I ask what happened here? Nothing to be worried about. There's been a small rehearsal mishap at Clock Studios. Why are you telling that to Robin? Please stay calm. Hey, are you a fool? You don't even recognize Miss Robin? Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I've just been transferred to the Bloodhound family, and, and I'm still not too used to She's working on the She's a fucking superstar. Uh, I didn't realize it was you. I, I'm so sorry. Hey, don't sweat it. You guys have a tough job. I know how it is. How's the situation looking? <sighs> oh, we've sealed off the theme park. Most guests are used to bizarre phenomena in the dreamscape, and so far, no threats have been detected. Sure. We can expect order to be restored soon. Rest assured, Miss Robin will intensify our patrols to ensure that no incidents occur. I trust you guys. But... Regarding what happened in the theme park, 
What do you hounds think about it? <laughs> uh, well... Actually, I was there shortly after it happened. Is it true that the IPC's ambassadors came with ill intent? Yeah, and that nah, galaxy nah. ranger who easily cut through the sky. <sighs> Miss Robin, to tell you the truth, everyone's been talking about it. The myriad factions on Pentaconi have already been causing unease for everyone. Oh, Thank good you that you're talking your to a fool. Loyalty towards the family. The planet of festivities has, of course, the family oh. did not agree. Thank you all for your loyalty. I love that it's question mark, question mark, question mark. The planet of festivities we all know has sparkle. indeed run into some trouble. The representative from the IPC, he's trying to regain ownership of Penaconi and is prepared for a hostile takeover. Oh, it's gonna get more hostile because they're out. Of course, the family did not agree. The results of the failed negotiations is as you see it now. The results of the failed negotiations is as you see it now. No, I know you want. No wonder. So this is the main reason why the IPC staff are banned from entering the dreamscape. Did they apprehend the troublemaker in the end? <laughs> Don't worry. Mr. Sunday is currently tracking his whereabouts. Also, and I'll I mean... to show for it soon. However, given the situation, the IPC surely won't let this Yeah, I bet they have ships. Therefore, we are relying on you hounds to maintain the order and stability of the dreamscape. Ships like Please right outside be her door. Assured, Miss Robin, we take our orders seriously. We won't let those, those IPC meddling cronies kids well, get away kids. with this. I hate the IPC, but I mean Thank you for your hard work. If there are any other members who still feel uneasy, please tell them on my behalf that protecting the dreamscape requires everyone's help. Everyone! This is a small gift prepared by the Irish Bright family sparkle. for the guests. There's one for you, too. Please, open it at the Charmony Festival for an unexpected surprise. Unexpected! I can't believe I received a gift from Miss Robin! But it did you even recognize like her? You didn't even recognize her! I am in a dream. If trouble comes knocking on our door, we're not afraid to go to war. I mean, you're sure. about to. The dreamscape's most peace will be protected by the Bloodhound family. No, it won't be protected by me. Oh, I forgot about talking to them. I could stay here, but keep in mind, okay, just... guests come to Pinnacone to enjoy the dreamscapes. I can't believe I. If trouble comes. All right, Sparkle. What, what what's we doing? What's we doing, Sparkles? Miss Robin, that's the renowned cosmic superstar, Miss Robin. No, no, it's Sparkle, but yeah, yeah. I didn't expect to meet a fan here. I mean, uh, it's Pentacony. Welcome to Pentacony, a world filled with wonderful dreams. Except right now. I I can't believe I'm actually meeting the real Robin. Sh shouldn't you be preparing for the Charmony Festival? No, I'm busy being dead. Kind of, sort of. Preparation is important. Comatose. But the ceremony is fundamentally about sharing the Great One's harmony with everyone. And beating There's you over the head with, with musical everyone. notes, right? I will not refuse. Regarding the recent mishap, I understand it negatively impacted some of the Anubis wanting pets, so I'm halfway a petting a cat family, while... It's only right for me to come forward I mean, and offer my apologies to everyone. I, I know I could put it on autoplay, but... but uh, I won't get my snarky comments sure in. Are you sure it was actually a mishap? Everyone saw those chips descending like rain and the red light tearing through the sky. Claiming it was merely special effects seems a bit far-fetched. Have you never had nightmares before? Plus, I met that generous gentleman. He when? looked really out of it. I don't recognize you! Is this also part of the performance? <laughs> Everyone, please do not panic. I believe that the family will give well, everyone a the, satisfactory were you answer the drunk in due time. poem one? But none of them are guests, technically. Even if you say so, Miss Robin, it's hard to believe. Ugh, some people just never listen, do they? It's never ending. It just goes on and on. Yes, say that really lot so they can hear you. 
Miss Robin? Still, I suppose I should keep on helping everyone. I am the epitome of joy, kindness, and goodness, after all. Yes, Sparkle. Uh... Huh? What was I just doing? And, uh... Who might you be, miss? Nobody! Here, take this, little guest. Little this guest has been specially prepared <laughs> for you guys. taller than you! Plan. Not that I should say much, because I say little monster, sure uh, little one when I'm until the fighting of monsters the and Monster Hunter. Festival. Then, when the show reaches its climax, press the button together with the others around you. <laughs> you never know. Something very exciting might happen. Something. Meantime. We're back to where it all began. You entered the golden hour from this place. And it is also from here where you will enter the true Pentaconi. Yes, yes, Firefly. It is a pleasure to journey alongside you once more. But it's time I laid bare the entire truth before you. I mean, yes. As you might have heard, I also go by another name. Stellaron Hunter Sam. Your firefly soul. I know you have many questions. Do you remember when we encountered death in that strange dreamscape? When I was caught by that meme. I mean, how could I not remember? In that instant before it killed me, I saw the reflection of another dreamscape in its ghastly pupils. So, following the clues in the script, I came up with some theories about the meme. That's why I instructed Silverwolf to issue invitations, drawing everyone to the Dreams Hotel. I intended to call upon death before you arrived. To solve the riddle using more direct means. And then invite you to join. However, contrary to my wishes, I couldn't defy the script. And I, I didn't get a chance to explain it to you. But I thought you didn't reveal too much of the script to you, so... It is how you see now. I was impaled by the bladed wings of death. The heavy pressure of concentrated memoria, miasma, exploded in my mind. And your body? As if it was actually reality. But after the momentary numbness subsided, I found that my body was absolutely unscathed. Were you still in the dreamscape? I was still alive. And it was just as I thought. I, I had arrived at a place starkly different from this beautiful dream. Beneath the dreamscape of Pentaconi lies another, more chaotic, more primal memory zone. It's Same within a dream, within a dream, Land within a dream. Of the Exiles. You mean the original Pentaconi? And so, uh, then I returned to the hotel in the dreamscape, hoping to tell you of its existence. Yet I, I, I could not reveal my own identity. So, I could only divert your party's attention and lure you away from the battlefield. I mean, it's a good thing you didn't kill me. And after... all my attempts proved futile. It wasn't until not long ago when a crimson blade of light shattered the high wall of the dream. Did you say something about a Causing you room? all to fall far into the abyssal depths that it has of the that... dreamscape. And I was able to awaken you and your companions one you by one. See that bubbling, uh, what's that? Oh. And, and that's it. That is all that's happened so far. I completely understand. I know it's tough to believe all this without reservations. I just want to say you are very close to the final answer. Just one more thing needs to be done. One more thing. And then now. Oh, sorry. Let's leave this place. One more request. Except it'll turn Please into Please close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And visualize the dreamscape's outline in your heart. How? And remember. 
You must not open your eyes at all times. But once, uh, unless I get the three, three, two, two and a half. One. I mean, one and a half. Don't be afraid. The one who has come to greet us has arrived. The, the death meme. Uh, after a piercing screech, a thick. A ferocious surge of memorial crashed into your chest, churning and ravaging. Your consciousness becomes like scraps of paper caught in a whirlpool, breaking apart, dissolving, and dispersing within a turbulent, muddy current. Innumerable voices resonate through the symphony symphony of memoria, like roaring thunder. Among them, one echo stood out with exceptional clarity. You knew it came from the girl beside you. Your heart speeding to the same rhythm peaceful and even more peaceful until the quiet darkness memories ripple into existence i never knew you could do this blade do you have a driver's license <laughs> he's old enough to i do <laughs> that is surprising why because this is Chapella, the city of sins. Isn't that where Kafka is from? <laughs> no, it's nothing. I'm just thinking I mean, that the... you haven't slept in 20 system hours. Are you sure you're okay? It's never okay. I'm fine. I'll survive. Same goes for you. <sighs> I'm fine. I'll survive. I'm not so sure about that. Slow down a bit. Infiltration is over. Feel free to activate Sam anytime you like. There's still some time before the next part of the script unfolds. Let me stay a little longer in this body. Yeah, she has that thing where she slows down, is it? But this body. One of them's the true body. Well, she mentions about being stuck in a place that's cold and all this other stuff. Um, like a hospital, but not quite. A long silence en ensued. Neither of them brought up any topic, seemingly accustomed to the silence. It wasn't until much later that a soft sigh once again broke the quiet. In the car. Such a long tunnel. <laughs> Didn't feel this long when I set off. In half a system hour, it will lead us to Kafka. And then comes the downfall of the Chapella Brotherhood. Does that come from that video? Is that also part of the script? That has her in a court? It's in your script, too. Sorry. I didn't notice. <laughs> Their destiny won't change just because of your selective ignorance. I told you before, it's a bad habit. What if I want to keep this bad habit? What about you then? Is this the moment you finally find the death you've been looking for? Nope. As always, it's a blank slate. It's not on this planet. Why the sudden inquiry? Because I'm currently in a car with a sleep deprived driver. I just want to get there in one piece. Oh, he'll be fine. He's been stabbed through the chest a couple billion times. <sighs> this car has full self-driving capabilities. I'll just put my hand on the steering wheel. Will that do? Do I have to put a hand on there if it's self-driving? <laughs> hey, don't take everything so seriously. Why so serious? Elio would always say there's only one type of destiny. The inescapable type. He can see the future, and we, likewise, are aware of our predetermined end. Yes. But before that moment arrives, we can still choose what we do. We all have this right, don't we? Do we? After today, Chapella's name will disappear from cosmic history, and the Everflame Mansion will take its place. In the not-too-distant future, you'll receive an invitation. 
that's your next stop. Penaconi? Land of the dreams. Penaconi. I hope you find whatever you seek there. Be it answers or salvation. I'll save you! Well, I'll try to, until it is according to how the game goes. Glad to see you're safe and sound. Close your eyes. This is the answer. Isn't it incredible? The monster that we have always known as death is actually the guardian of the land of the exiles. Surprise, surprise. So why was it tried to stab me earlier? by a certain rule. Abducting people from their dreams and bringing them here. The question that has been perplexing us, does death really exist in the dreamscape, appears to be a cognitive trap that was laid by those orchestrating events from the shadows to cover up the truth behind the disappearances and the existence of this fortress known as Dreamflux Reef. Cool. Every emergence of that mean is related to the Watchmaker. Since Dreamflux Reef is where it brings its captives, it's likely that many of our long-standing questions will be answered in this place. No, it won't! The atmosphere here is starkly different from the beautiful dream. There are no regulators here like the family. And they all look like they're mildly dazed. Does their body disappear? But from the whispers of the residents, they've heard a familiar name. Gallagher. Dog? It's that man again. Always in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Though that does save us the trouble of looking for him. Is he behind us? Himiko and March have already made a move. Get ready. We're about to set off. Maybe we could stay here. The real dreamscape. The land of the exiles. Before we go, should we speak to everyone first? Yes. Not to speak to everyone. Why is there an Ormigabi bird? Oh, no, 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 no. Needs <laughs> to be a loot goblin that I'll probably stop being halfway through because I'll get too interested in the story that I. Don't want to stop and be a loot goblin. Or. Get me out of his nose! <clears throat> Cute voice. Chirp! Hello! Wanna shake claws, Chirp? I'm super popular at the Great Tree. Birdies who want to shake claws with me can fill up the entire dream fill, Chirp. What? You look put off. Are you too shy, Chirp? Try shaking his claws. Duh! I almost forgot! Origami claws are too small to be shaken. Chirp! Goodbye, reserved friend. We'll just say we shook claws in our hearts. Chirp! <laughs> okay. I'm really sorry for waiting until now to tell you everything. I just knew you weren't being truthful the entire time. You really Two reasons. Firstly, the script. In the future mm -hmm. that Elio saw, Sam and the Astral Express's confrontation was inevitable. I tried to break the shackles of the prophecy, but this is as far as I could go. But why, though? That aside, there were also my personal motives. I wish to travel with you as Firefly. And not Sam. I think you're... I think you're perfect the way you are, but alright, I didn't take it personally. Thank you. Whichever form you decide... Do the Stellaron Hunters also want a piece of the legacy? Elio only gave me one instruction. Allow the Astral Express to pursue the Grand Legacy. 
it means that the Watchmaker's legacy holds great significance to trailblazing. And to you. Oh, I now I remember the thing that, uh, you no. Know, stupid thumbnails revealed to me is we get a new, uh, path. Elio's scripts used to revolve and expand around certain specific Stellarons. But with your appearance, this condition has apparently ceased to be appropriate. <sighs> Perhaps he also saw the impossible in the future. Mm. So, who exactly, Sam? Do you Sam? still remember that medical cabin? medical cabin I told you about? Well, that's Sam. It belongs to the Iron Cavalry of Glamoth's Firmament Frontline. Firmament. Uh, Firefly Type 4 Tactical Heavy Assault Mech. Firefly, okay. It is the cradle of my vitality. And the meaning of my birth. You mean you were born to die and with for that? The longest problem? time it was. <laughs> How I should have looked to the rest of the world. Peter. The time scale of Dreamflux Reef differs from Nothing. reality. So we mustn't lower our guard. You're sensitive to memoria. A slight misstep. And you could get lost in this memory zone. Uh, they added this, I think, in this update. The whole thing of, you see the one, two, three, is so you don't have to... ...be shorter than... Well... Something on your mind? Let's talk about it. Something on my mind? I have a lot of things on my mind! Acheron's Blade Slash. No wonder Miss Acheron is so averse to drawing her blade. It's... Hard to imagine such terrifying power could reside in an ordinary sheath. If it weren't for the fact that Aventurine's power originated from the preservation, the entire dreamscape would have been affected. Don't feel burdened by this. Even without that Stellaron inside you, Aventurine would still have found other methods to accomplish his goal. Let's just believe in Miss Acheron. And given her prowess, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. I still want her to step on me, does that count? What are your thoughts on Gallagher? During your investigation, he shared a vital piece of information. Mikhail, the former watchmaker who collaborated with the family to construct the Penacone we're familiar with today, had a falling out with the family for specific reasons. Hmm. But this is precisely where the problem lies. You were clearly investigating a murder, so then why, as a security officer, is he changing the subject to talk about his past with the Watchmaker? And now, with Firefly mentioning his name again, it's hard not to be suspicious. I mean, he is also hot. Regarding Firefly and Before we found crew. you, she'd already revealed her Stellaron Hunter identity and shared a lot of information. We found you. Who would have thought that the Molten Knight's true identity was actually a young girl? For her, this is a secret that she cannot allow others to know. That being the case, I think we can believe she's willing to cooperate. Yeah. But she didn't reveal all her secrets. I just can't shake the feeling that her situation is different from that of the typical dreamer. And I hope that doesn't lead to any dangerous predicaments. She did bring up death a bit with Blade. I hope you've regained a little composure. We'll move out when you're ready. Is she gonna die at the end of this? Like, have a true death? Just... <sighs> Bird. <gasps> Woohoo! Why did you find me? I'm a useless birdie that can't even build its own nest. I'm only fit to live in a trash bag. Grr. You'll learn eventually. I know I'm a net bird, but I appreciate your comforting chirp. Goodbye, stranger. I'll give you this trash bag. Chirp! I mean, uh, Stella will love this. Trash panda she is. 
I got it. Welcome to heaven. Welcome to heaven. Oh, you Dreams, okay. true or false? All are ephemeral. <laughs> Might as well drink more soul glad instead. I wonder if some of these are the ones listed in that thing with Sunday. What would it be under? Oh, Simon's son. Bank. Show. Potion. Okay, wh wh where's the thing that... Was in Sunday. The pages that he... Out. About the people who disappeared. Keep going straight down this alley, and it'll lead to an elevator. I, I mean, it'll this is... take us to the center of the land of the exiles. I, I think there's only real one major path, anyways. So I mean, yink, yink, yink. Hey, should I blind you with my super awesome radiant spark chip? The bird's feather make the light brighter. I'm researching this problem right now, chur. You feel the difference in the light, chur? Not much. I see. I'll switch up the light bulb and try again next time, chur. Goodbye, friend. One day I'll return Roses of Vil's bl pitch black darkness into a light show, chur. <gasps> Rose of Vil, is that kind of a reference to the Old. Well, I guess we're gonna the the a hand new thing's gonna show up there. Um, old vaud vaudeville vaudevillian vaudeville stuff. Back no. What a huge clocky. Uh, looks like the watchmaker also left his mark on Dreamflux Reef. Come on. Oh, it's a yank. <gasps> oh, did I scare you, Cher? All the birdies were eaten by the gigantic clocky. Guess why I'm still here, Cher? You went invisible? Boo, wrong guess, Chirp. It's supposed Clocky doesn't eat birds. I was just pulling your leg, Chirp. Your reaction was really funny. Goodbye. I'll come back next time to make you laughter. <gasps> I mean, the thing is, I wouldn't be surprised. In this place, I wouldn't be surprised. Wait for the elevator to arrive. Well, I think that I spent enough time in the back there to where it to finally arrive. We're gonna have a talkie spec section or are we just gonna What was that investigate? I'm going back down to figure out what that investigate was. Unbelievable. To think there's a settlement of this size within the dreamscape. And all beyond the family's reach. Yes, but... 
The atmosphere in this fortress is pretty different from that in the beautiful dream. Um, uh, when I first saw it, I was in awe too. The sky here, it's like a reflection of the 12 dreamscapes. What's even more bizarre is that this place is also separated into trade and residential areas. The layout may be simple, but the facilities are very comprehensive. It seems that there are quite a number of people living here. Hmm. Though both dreamscapes have distinct styles, the architectural designs are quite similar. Works of the same hand, perhaps. Hard not to speculate on the connection. But there's no point in overthinking things. Let's meet up with Himako and the others first. I will fucking overthink things. Take a right turn at the end of this road and you'll reach the trade district. There are more people there. And perhaps someone knows where she is. I mean, the bright red hair. Not coming with us? The Astral Express likely needs room for some internal deliberation. In the meantime, I'll try and locate Gallagher. Sure. Let's reconnect later. Uh. Letting her go was the right decision. Further observations are needed before we decide whether to trust her. But first, there's someone I need to talk to. Mikhail's over there. Let's go. I'm sure you've already noticed him. Yep, saw him right away. He's right over there. Oh, he's quite bright and also clocky. The Reverie Hotel's bellboy. How did he end up here? And right after Miss Acheron severed the beautiful dream. What if he can go between the two of those? We'd better check, just to be sure. I'm going back down that elevator to figure out what that investigation thing is, if you'll let me. Trash can is perfect for me. Okay, okay, kid. I mean, Papastri. <sighs> I'm, I'm hitting that button as much as possible to see. Oh, floating ticket. Oh, where Splendor meets Sorrow. Okay, it was just an achievement. God damn it. I'll teleport back up. Time. Wait. Nine o'clock, here's the street's proud landmark. Children from other neighborhoods all look upon it with great envy. Children are born here? That sucks. The citizens seek cleaning and maintaining the statue as part of their lives. The giant clock, he must... He is this... That's part of its life, too. Beautiful dreams are always sure to fade away under corrosion of nightmares, but Clocky's smile is eternal. Creepy. This trash can is perfect! It's illegal for me to stay in. Is it? sweetie huh? you were the guest from before <laughs> oh it's me <Misha, laughs> again Mikhail. and a new friend uh, uh, forgot to introduce myself forgot that it was Misha. I'm the hotel I just staff. feel like he's Mikhail, though hello the Misha maker. I'm Welt uh, we met in a dream oh and uh, who might this be who do you think it's, it's Mickey Mouse old friend and new friend let's hide can you jump that high? Mr. Yang, you're still young at heart. Your, uh, memory zone meme? <laughs> nope. Clocky is a good friend of mine. Also, we all live behind here. us. How did you two get here? This dreamscape isn't supposed to be open to the public. I wonder if it has something to do with Sleepy. Well, remember Dr. Ratio said that it's just a deeper sleep um so i'm guessing the guardians called mr so sleepy this is your home <laughs> yep after my work in the beautiful dream ends is this where I'll all of them home. 
Commuting used to be more convenient, but ever since travel became cumbersome, Sleepy started ferrying people back and forth between the two dreamscapes. This Sleepy, can you describe what it looks like? Even more fucking terrifying, The cool. Sleepy is a memory zone meme, looks fierce and has many eyes, but it's actually really well behaved. It stabbed people. Based on the description, that meme is indisputably death. A nightmare for the family, but for the people who live here, well, that couldn't be further from the truth. Well, I guess Robin and Sunday are fine. D death? For now. Not in a dream, surely. Sleepy's just a little aggressive, and sometimes he <laughs> messes up by fetching the wrong guess. But it would never hurt anyone. I see. Has it brought back any guests recently? Say, in the last day or two? A Sunday? We're currently investigating a missing person case that occurred within the beautiful dream. Missing Robin? Then you'll have to speak with Gallagher. But he's currently busy hosting a visitor from the Oak family and Sunday. specifically asked not to be disturbed. Well, I mean... Um, Mr. Yang, the person you're looking for, is it Miss Robin? Yes. Mm, just as I thought. Considering what happened with Miss Firefly, this doesn't come as a surprise. If you're looking for Miss Robin, I can lead the way. She told me that she'd be willing to meet with outside guests. I just realized he has a rat tail, I if think. If it's not too much trouble. Also, we're looking for our missing companions. Um, a woman with red hair accompanied by a girl with pink hair. Have you seen them? Oh, I... I haven't. But please, rest assured. Dream Flux Reef is a small place, and it's not as bustling as the beautiful dream. But its safety is unmatched. X to doubt, X to uh, doubt! How about this? Since it's your first time here in Dream Flux Reef, I'll be your guide and help you find your companions. Oh, sweet! And then we can all go visit Miss Robin together. She's gone to Mrs. Grace's to visit the children. She won't be leaving anytime soon. So, there should be enough time. So, he calls himself the, uh, the grandson. So, since there are children here, it could also be... He could be the legacy. And, um... Was All born right, here. Then. We'll uh, follow your plan. Yes. Well, we now know the answer to both murdered cases that have caused such commotion in Penaconi. As for the intentions of the mastermind behind it all, we are still none the wiser. <laughs> Yes, that's my thinking as well. I just... I'm not into... Has to be Gallagher behind it. Entirely certain, but we still have to find him one way or another. One way or another. Say, uh, you mentioned before that you saw a clocky that only you could see, right? <laughs> and I manipulate him. <laughs> oh, Mr. Yang. I can't shake off this strange feeling am i really still so young at heart <laughs> forget it <laughs> it's not important you're adorable uh, you better just follow misha Wait, after all the shit you've probably seen i still haven't looked into honkai impact or i need to probably i want birdie 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 here? Hi, father. <gasps> Phew, you Phew, you finally found me, Jerp! If you come any if you had come any later, this billboard would have fallen and maybe land on my head, Jerp! How dumb could a birdie be to get stuck here during hide and seek, Jerp? Thank you, kind soul. To be careful and don't get hit by falling objects, Jerp! Well, I I'm uh, uh, Dropping dice on people. So it's more they have to worry about me. Hot steam bursts forth from a manhole cover, lashing at the world with a fierce roar like a newly birthed volcano. That's right. This is one of the famous seven manhole covers. The manhole cover of destruction. What this Kingdom Hearts 2 shit is this? I 
Any shiny shiny? The real reason why I came over here is because I saw the spacing. Any? Well, it does look like... Uh, nothing ever beats a good race. <sighs> oh, bird! Bird's the word. I made that joke already. Uh, but not in this stream, so I mean, does that count? Don't eat me! I made a paper! You'll get a tummy ache if you eat me, chirp. I mean, if I have pica, it really doesn't matter, does it? Um, don't just stare at me. Say something, girl. I'm gonna eat you. Chirp! Bird not yummy! Bird only wants to come out later. Professor Owl, I should have listened to you. The outside world is too scary, Chirp! Going back to Miss Dr. Blue's place, I won't wander around anymore, Chirp! <gasps> like, like I said, if I have Pika, it really fucking doesn't matter. I am distraction. Tick tock, fool. Stop looking around. I'm talking about you. From that coddled demeanor of yours, you must be from the top side. Have you not faced the truth after staying here for so long? I've literally been here for like 10 minutes. I've seen the family plunder the tinkerer's rewards. Then it's time to sleep. The dream is a cold, merciless machine where we, you, and I are mere fuel for it. Tick tock war. We need a war. We must stop them, defeat them, and tear them to shreds, no matter the cost. Cool. Violence is the answer. Wow, my, my brain's working. What's this shit? Come on. Tick tock, gosh. War is really frightening. How could I have such extreme thoughts? War will sacrifice so many lives. What if I turned into scrap metal because of war? We have to use gentler means to solve the problem, such as negotiations with the family, improving theater welfare. And r worker regulations. I, it, it. One of the things I've noticed, and I, it, it might be just be me, but it's not just like when they're broken, they seem to be more violent, or at least some level of violence that they tend to. Uh. <laughs> yes, I'm being distracted! <laughs> Game. You know this granny friend? She's just staring ahead, laughing one moment, weeping the next. Scary. Chirp! She's probably thinking of someone. If she misses someone, why doesn't she just talk to that person face to face? Chirp! Because they're probably dead. Humans are so hard to understand. Would be great if everyone was happy every day, Chirp. But then you wouldn't treasure it if you're happy every day. Goodbye. I'm returning to the great tree. I wish you and the granny happiness too. Chirp, chirp. <gasps> chirp, chirp. Chirp, 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 chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. And... Alright. Highness is ed High rise edge. Break free from the shackles of the guardrail and take a beautiful... The beautiful vistas of the city. Make sure you share this advice with all your friends that are scared of heights. Fuck no! No, no. Freaked out enough when I went to the Grand Canyon and the like. My dad made me stand next to the railing over the drop, and that wasn't fun at all. All right. Everyone, look. From here, you can see the most spectacular view of Dreamflux Reef. You mean the hillity? 
mean, it looks like a black hole. No. An accretion disk formed from consolidated memoria. Accretion. Was Dreamflux Reef built on such unstable memoria? The, the fuck is accretion? This is actually a new word for me. The process of grow or increase, typically by the gradual accumulation of additional layers or matter. And what? It is astronomy. Um, accretion, accretion disk, a disk like flow of gas, plasma, dust, or par partic particles around any astronomical object in which the material orbiting the gravitational field of object loses energy an angular momentum as it slowly spirals inward. You all black hole. You should Sorry, I'm I'm not the I'm getting dis distracted. Matter gradually works its way from the outer part of the disk to its inner edge where it falls into the event horizon. Isolated black holes that have consumed the matter surrounding them do not possess an accretion disk and be ca can become very difficult to find and study. Okay, uh, there's a question underneath this. Can, uh, are Saturn's rings accretion disks? No. Um. Oh wait, no. Yeah, sorry, yes. A solar system forming around a protostar, metal Matter falling into a black hole, and even the rings of Saturn can be considered forms of I'm- I- I'm not- Shh, just stop, put, put down the phone! Oh, so Mr. Yang is also versed in Memoria Dynamics. More, more, more like I was just trying to yeah, figure out how to explain this huge hole to everyone. I bet you guys have a lot in common with Miss Kami. Who? Then. Watchmaker is gone. There's no one to protect us anymore. Do you think we should leave? Why should we leave? It's those insatiable thugs that should leave. If we let them keep corrupting this place, one day there won't be a single dr dream bubble left in the city. We need to seize the moment and counterattack Vinaconi. At this point, it's either their lives or ours. Well, they said Miss Grace. Oh. Do we have to find old man co uh, covers for this joke? The hot steam from under the manhole cover bursts forward like lightning, as if chasing something, before dissipating straight up into the heavens. Indeed, this is one of the great seven manhole covers, the manhole cover of the hunt. Wait. Are all these paths? <sighs> I'm just a wallflower. Look! There she is! My calculations are finally done. In another ten system hours, the above dream will swallow the dream below. If my hypothesis was correct, this place will cease to exist as the dream devours everything. Fun. Hmm? Who are you all and why haven't you left yet? Because we're this stupid. This place is about to disappear. Because we're the main characters. Why aren't you I'm leaving? Amy. A dreamscape surveyor specializing in memoria dynamics. And this is my life's work that I'm researching. So death? You see that huge gaping hole? It was just a narrow rift many years ago. But now, it's grown into a giant hole. The surrounding memoria has been flowing towards the other end of the hole at a constant velocity, slowly but surely. But the scary part is... According to my calculations, the flow rate of Memoria has recently changed, and it's faster than ever before. It's almost... almost as if something is sucking it in from the other side. Dream Master? By constantly improving upon Madame Rosalina's Memoria measurement method, I've finally obtained accurate results. I bet the voice actress had to say Memoria measurement method a few times to After ten try and get uh, Dr. Rosalina. Just like 
the melting of glaciers, everything will crumble and disintegrate. The dreams on that side of the void will fuse into one. What if it's more nightmares? Uh, please don't worry. This sort of thing has happened many times before. Has Miss it? Kami isn't a bad person. She's just a bit lost in her own world. I, I'm doubting She'll on She'll probably realize she's wrong soon enough. Is she? <laughs> you don't say. There was a something else that piqued my interest. Who is Madame Rosalina? Isn't she one of the nameless that we're oh, looking for? Do you know her too? Or are you also a fan of Memoria Dynamics? She's a nameless. We're very interested in Madame Rosalina's achievements. Uh, could you tell us a little more about them? Why, of course. She's an excellent scholar of Memoria Dynamics and the first person to apply Memoria Rate Measurement Methodology on interstellar travelers. Regrettably, due to the presence of the Garden of Recollection, ordinary people don't pay much attention to the nature of Memoria. She departed this world without much fame, leaving only a few thin journals behind. She, she died or she left? I came to Metaconi to learn more about my idol and went to great lengths to seek out Dreamflux Reef. Okay, because so she's this dead. This is her final resting place. Prodigies always meet their demise prematurely. If only Madame Rosalina had more time, she would have discovered a way to reverse the flow of Memoria. Maybe that's why she was killed? I... I felt it. The source is in the golden hour. There is a certain anomalous presence stirring the currents of the memory zone. I must uncover more concrete proof. I must convince everyone. I need to run and use the restroom real quick. I am so sorry. Does the name Madame Rosalina sound familiar to you? She was one of the nameless mentioned by the conductor. That's right. It seems like she did a great deal of research and calculations in Dreamflux Reef before abruptly passing away. She was murdered! Miss Katie regularly mentions her. I hear Madame Rosalina passed away during the prison war. <sighs> she could see the Panacone of today. It's people. Murder building homes in the memory zone. <laughs> I bet she'd be really happy. I'm betting also leaving thin journals behind. I bet they, uh, whoever took the jour journals that actually had enough information. Perhaps. Our destination is the commercial district. That's where the largest crowds gather in Dreamflux Reef. We might be able to find the others there. Trail back, Moria. In the distant past, the Dreamweavers used to gather here, myriad wondrous ideas conjured among the cascades of jovial banter. The most outstanding people died for it, the most brilliant of souls were born because of it. Rosalia. <laughs> Strange. Heartbroken bird. Hello, chirp, passing friend. Can you solve a riddle of mine? I can notes and clocks become friends, but birds cannot fall in love with a cat. Boy, she's this is on a cat. You, you're taking great risks. Uh, how would an ordinary person like you understand the love of birds? Sure. I don't, but how can you understand the love of cats? Oh, cat! Oh, cat! Where art thou? A cat! It be my 
much better if the, you were an origami bird and stop looking at me, cat. I'm not talking to you. A chirp, chirp. Farewell. Uh, farewell forever, my feline friend. I hope you'll never cry once I leave. <gasps> March. Let me go. Please come to your. Sonner's time over, chirp chirp. Even feathers will be loosened up by the hot steam, chirp. But I feel my body body going woozy, chirp. Can paper even be soaked in sauna? Aragami birds aren't made from actual paper. Why would we get wet? Or would we chirp? I I'm gonna look for Dr. Blues right away for it right now for answers, chirp. I mean it's a dreamscape, also. The hot steam from under the manhole rises gently like a slow ooh, exaltation, kissing the cheeks of passerby, selflessly donating its warmth. Wow, could this be? Yep. Okay. Each one of these seven ones are the paths. Okay. Manhole cover of abundance. Ghost. There's a ghost. Don't come near me. Oh my. I'm human, and so are you. Can you get a grip? Technically, it's Mabeshi. Uh, Mr. Yang and Miss Trailblazer, I've been waiting for you. Y you want me to manipulate his emotions? Quickly, come help! I bumped into a member of the family on the way here. He was so scared, and I just wanted to calm him down. But... Let me go, let me go! I've only done good in my life. Why can't I rest in peace after death? And... Wait, if you think you're dead why the way you scared of her like well, she's a ghost this is how it turned out yeah i have to do this now you shall pay respect to march 7th the ghost of the dream flux reef uh, me a ghost don't make me hit you <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's dead although when i first fell in i also thought the same dear guest this is not the afterlife you said this it was a part of Flux Reef. It was a part of the what should we call it? That's the family. Right. Did you hear that? Why are you calling me? Well, I mean, you me. guess he's a guest Dream to the Flux Reef. You, you're talking to someone invisible. If I'm not dead, what am I? <laughs> I shouldn't have pushed my luck and tried sleeping in my dream. Curiosity kills the Papeshi. Curiosity kills a lot of things. What's wrong with sleeping in- Stop asking! You'll alert the monsters! All the dead are right here. All of them! You mean all those that have disappeared in dream? Uh, you're not talking about the memory zone meme, are you? Uh, don't say that name! It's all your fault. They're coming! The... The... The 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 fu easy this time. The the fu Follow my charge. Here, this thunder. Wrong thing. <laughs> I was Show gonna no do mercy. sparkles. I hit the mark. It's on me. Let's can you find the answer? answer. So are, are we gonna be light. beat the sense back into him? Wretched and fleeting. Now are you gonna be a good profession? He passed out. His intense negative emotions attracted the nearby memory zone memes. He's breathing. Doesn't look like he's breathing though. I see. But why aren't the other people around? He's not scared? breathing! 
I like I, I I have my um or have my mouse over. I'm not sure. Um. His chest should go up and down, and there, there's no pixels moving up and down. Unlike in the sweet dream, people here don't see memory zone memes as dangerous monsters. And even if they pose a threat, people can easily escape by forcing a wake-up call. He's dead. But we can't just leave this man here. Can we take him somewhere safe? Oh, wait. Do not have his chest move up. We can ask uh, Jesse for help. I've gotten to know many locals one. while waiting for you guys. Are you saying Everyone that I was here is living a self-sufficient life? I don't know how to describe it, but this place feels like the real dreamscape. Because it is. You can't see me. No, I, I can't. <gasps> Chirp, how did you see through my impeccable disguise? A, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of birds have been using that as a disguise, so... Find a new one. He even got a balloon with a wig to beat the other chir birds. Chirp! Your hair color is different. Chirp! This was the most similar shade they had. Goodbye. I'm gonna return and see if I the last birdie found. Chirp! You probably are not. Seen from under the manhole cover envelops you. Who are you? Where are you going? What pain is there in life? What suffering is there in death? This must be one of the mysterious seven manhole covers and yeah, the manhole cover of nihility. Okay, which one of those? The hot scene from under the manhole covers is silent and unstirring. Its protection banishes all cold from the. I, I know this isn't the correct way to say this, but I'm fucking gonna say it this way anyways. Clit, clit, paws? And she's all cold from around you. Wonderful, this must be the mythical seven manhole covers, the manhole cover of preservation. <laughs> I knew you couldn't hold your liquor. I tried to warn you too. Tick tock, you found me. The demon that is about to destroy this dreamscape. It was probably not easy. Tick tock. Well, actually, I shouldn't say it's anger. It's mostly their extreme emotions, which I can understand with them being broken. I am the fell fire that will burn out all happiness. The swamp that will devour the beautiful. I am the mastermind who causes dreams to fall into nightmares. An inevitable nemesis of the righteous. Abandon all hope. What? You did abandon all hope ye who enter here? We're not gonna do it that way? You cannot hope to win against me! I mean... I, I, I'm good with puzzles. Some days. Like I said, I'm good with puzzles some days. Oh, wait. Oh. I was about to say, if that's all of them, I am very unhappy with you, game. Oh, his... Sh I just realized his shoes, his shoes squeak! Waken. Tick tock, if only I were really that powerful. But I cannot bear to pull the trigger. If I were more evil, more powerful, I wouldn't be pushed around by the family and guests. Boo hoo! Well, I don't think you have to worry about it down here. Unless you disappearing means that you reappear up there since you are fixed. 
If that's the case, I am so sorry. I'm fixing you now that I think about it. Oh my god. Let's see how you handle a stroke of genius like this. Stellar cowgirl. Uh, no, I have to talk to the cowgirl first. Are you a newbie? Haven't seen you around the Dream Flux Reef before. I have to do it in a southern accent. I mean, it, though technically she's a cowboy, so that means that it's a different kind of accent, but you, what's your name? Where'd you come from? Why are you here? Don't try anything funny. My bandit dagger has seen enough lies, and they got, all got, they've all got what they, that was coming for them. Not heard of the great galactic baseballer. No, what's that? I've heard of Galaxy Rangers, Street Lamp Man, <laughs> Trash Can Man, even Billboard Man. I've never heard of this baseballer. Are you just making this up? I know dreams are full of random objects that move and talk, but I've never seen a baseball bat before. When did I actually say baseball bat somewhere in that sentence? Did I actually say baseball bat? I did not say baseball bat, so how do you know that you play baseball with a bat? How? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I guess I can tell you're not some of the family set here. You don't have that foul stench of harmony on you. There have been a lot of people appearing out of nowhere here lately. I need to keep my guard up. I can't afford to have the bloodhounds finding their way in here. Green Flux Reef is a place full of people who just want to live a peaceful life. They don't want to be disturbed by the chaos of the outside world. I never introduced myself. My name's Claudia. Uh, I'm a <laughs> interstellar cowgirl. Oh, yeah, for a chat. All right, what do you want to talk about? Why are you here in the green? Uh, just change the accent. Ah, uh, that's a long story. Much like the majority of people here, I blacked out and woke up here. Although, I entered the dreamscape a little differently than most people do. Yes, like you come through, came in through the hotel, right? I didn't. I used a custom tallying device. Can't really explain how it works. Getting in was easy enough. But getting out, that is the challenge. When I realized I could never leave this unfortunate dream, I just had to escape my fate. I mean, accept my fate. You could live in the golden hour, where it's crowded with people? Absolutely not. I can't stand fake and conceited places like that. They're all just normal people, yet they pretend like they're all rich and elegant nobles. Who are they trying to impress? I think the dream flux wreath suits me best. Peace. Uh, free, peaceful, and free of trouble. It's refreshing. Why am I asking, do you know how to Cook pepper. Uh, the, the, it's a, that's a reference to something I don't know. Is this some kind of Pentaconian joke? I don't understand. Why would you ask that? My straight response? No, I don't even know what that is. I met you before. Have you? I don't remember you at all. Say, I wasn't on a wanted poster, was I? Think quickly. This is very important. I think it was a wanted poster. No way! I've been out of a business for ages. How are there still wanted posters around? That can be right. I think you s I saw you on a billboard. A billboard? Like the ones in Golden Hour that chase after people? Why would I be on a billboard? That's not possible. There's no way. It gave me a message for you. There's a billboard in front of the Golden Central Station waiting for you. It We'll always be waiting for it. Wrong accent. What does that mean? Why would a billboard be waiting for me? Do I owe it money or something? That's so strange. Who cares? I'm a cowgirl that roams the universe as I please. I won't let anyone, anything stop me. I mean, you're stuck in this world, so I think that's stopping you. I absolutely think that's stopping you. All right. Hi, Jesse. I'm being distracted. Jessie? Um, is it evening? Morning, Jesse. Welcome, Miss March. Who might these be? There's an extra period in there. Exclamation point, then a period. Uh, these Nobody two are my friends. As for the man lying on the ground, uh, he's a scaredy cat who fainted from fright. <laughs> I see. 
Another poor guy who accidentally ended up here. Hey, I'll take care of him. There have been a lot of new faces lately. Things must be tough in the beautiful dream. Hmm. The few remaining havens of freedom in Asdana will soon face trouble. Asdana, is that that city there? Do such things often happen here? Does it sound like it the way she put it? Not really, but they're becoming more frequent now. I guess it's one of the signs of the sweet dreams collapse. This man has had quite the shock. Could you help me find a Halovian lady march? Her songs can heal mental wounds. A Halovian lady? Robin. That must be Robin. She's also here in Dreamflux Reef. March, calm down and don't fangirl. Uh huh? Robin? But I thought she... Oh, right. If Firefly is here safe and sound, then it means Robin must be okay, too. Misha is about to take us to her to find out what happened. But before that, let's meet up with Himako. You were with her earlier, right? We met some stowaways in the residential area. Most of them came from neighboring star systems. The stowaways are more... I heard think? that places like Dreamflux Reef are scattered throughout the memory zone of Asdana, like islands in the ocean. They existed before the family arrived. I also heard that when Dreamflux was Reef took the shape, name it was of the... the center of all dreamscapes in Penacony. Planet. If that's true, it's no wonder there are so many similarities between this place and the sweet dream. Himeko must be gathering information. Let's hurry up and get going. <laughs> Don't ask where I'm from, a hero's roof. There have been a lot of new faces lately. Things must be tough in the beautiful dream. So you don't say anything. Stop being distracted. Stop being distracted. Let's have a toast to dreamscape. <laughs> I'm good. Tiny. Quick read. Death of the crow. Wait, wait. Okay, no, 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 It's under. That's under bookshelf. I do it! Reference to um, Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a midnight dreary, while you ponder weak and weary. I had to memorize parts of this. Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten dreams. While you nod and nearly nap while you nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping. Rapping at your chamber door, tis some visitor, you muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, uh, do... Well, by the way, this was in high school, I had to memorize it. And with my brain injury, this doesn't work very well on trying to remember it on my own. Ah, uh, do you distinctly remember the dew doused window pane, and the dying baby dro dove laying up like a shadow upon the floor? Is that a reference to... Eagerly you had wished the story to meet a happy end. Eagerly you had wished no birds would plummet, their demise to be way. Some soaring like shining stars bound for the sky, while others found only demise and thus they lie. Deep into that darkness peering, long you stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. Worms have stained satin, and the flames consume doves with broken wings. Flame bathed raven greets you, its voice rasps that sings. Sweet dreams are no paradise of mine, you whisper and sigh. When I cast my eyes around, darkness there, nothing more. The ebony um, bird was the one that um, Akron looked at and seems to be seeing in most scenes around. I'm guessing Doves is referring to um, Halovian 
And I'm guessing consumed up with broken wings, so that might be Sundayan. Mm. Sundayan Robin. Sorry, my mind dead. Then this ebony bird beguiling your sad fancy into smiling. The echoes of ghosts bring no salvation delight. People repent, their hearts sincere. Only due to them seek greater gains. Drink this po blessed potion from the Great One. Erase your painful memories. As the harmony tunes change, you hear a dirge played amidst the dancing ashes. Quote the raven, nevermore. <laughs> okay, sorry. The unbroken stillness remains silent, mocking any reply so aptly spoken. But the raven still beguiling all my fancy into smiling. This and more I sat divining, scrying, mm, scrying the source of the world's pain. Your heart grew resolute, no longer held back by confusion and doubt. Liar, you declared. The Great One is blind to world worldly sorrow. Merely this and nothing more. Is this a reference to the... Clockmaker? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You ascend the stage, you stole the authority. You drove to strive for divinity. You raise a dim curtain. Or each one of these is its own little thing. Because this feels like... This feels like adventuring. Because you ascended the stage, you stole the authority, you strove for divinity. You raised the dim curtain, your self-directed farce skillfully honed, which is adventuring. Your heart overflew with Prionis, while the shadows of the puppets cast grim shadows in their play. Unless this is like foretelling something, because I remember seeing the um, teaser, or whatever, trailer for this patch. Your soul embraced compassion, daring to forge a scale that will never sway. Behold, you proclaim the utopia of absolute bliss, yet the sh dream shattered nevermore. Up for any crust there, cat? The velvet nest fell, the golden bed withered away, but the bird remained perched as you did, come what may. The gods whom once bestowed upon you love's sweet hue withdrew their favor, leaving your paradise askew. Does that mean the harmony has withdrawn itself? Liberated from the shadows of shadow of the young dove's demise, your soul will take flight, merely this and nothing more. Your old dreams are as dead soil, barren of hope and bereft. Yet how can a noble soul wither and fade, left adrift? I shall wait your arrival with open arms, boundless hope. Here lies the truest dreams, where infinite possibilities loop. Here all your ambitions shall be fulfilled and set aflame, your past forever transformed and nevermore. Most Yours most sincerely. Isn't that the lady we, we talked to? With the Hi. We need distraction. This is where we split up. She can't be too far away. I mean, with her red hair. So that's how it is. I never imagined we'd gather the remaining details here. I mean... <laughs> to borrow Gallagher's catchphrase, what an unpredictable twist of fate. Mika? Are Kimiko, you her father? Here they uh, are! Isha? Oh, perfect timing. Now that everyone's here, I'd like to introduce everyone to Micah who's partly in charge of the Land of the Exiles. Micah, these are my companions. It's a pleasure to meet the Nameless. You know us? I mean, three Nameless were the ones that- I've been that... keeping an eye on you since the day you arrived in Penacony. We would have met under more appropriate circumstances if Dreamflux Reef Where's hadn't been isolated that... from the Twelve Dreamscapes. <sighs> Please, allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Micah. The Gravekeeper of Dreamflux Reef. Nice name. Gravekeeper? Life in Dreamflux Reef is pretty liberating. Everyone here mostly keeps to themselves, without meddling in others' affairs. My daily task involves cleaning a few tombstones. Is that, like, a metaphor? You're too modest, Micah. When lost dream chasers stumble upon this place, you're uh. the one who takes care of them. 
guiding them back to the sweet dream or showing them how to survive the wild dream chaos so uh guardian I think it has a of sorts kind of i mean it's not as unique as most mm -hmm. stars but uh, were you talking to me mr yang mm -hmm. how hmm? name on that note Mr. Mika, uh, which tombstones are you referring to? We didn't come across any graveyard when we arrived. Well, well I know you're smart enough to figure it. <laughs> They're actually just symbolic stones. But since you're curious, Mr. Yang, I'll take you there. I have a feeling you might find something of interest there. Oh? Uh, but before that, you have an important guest joining you. Robin? An important guest? Who could it be? Robin? This way, please. The roads here in Dream Flux Reef are um, a bit run down, so watch your step. The steam from under the manhole cover is united in so like, harmony. Each water molecule is sharing their joy hand in hand. Ah, uh, this must be the incomparable mount, uh, seven manhole covers, the manhole covers harmony. Yes, you want pets? Care who's on the other side of the pipe? Their taste is questionable. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna leave that area. Leave it. I remember when this place was all. I'm gonna see. Well, I just. Good thing I know that. Come here. No, it's Kami. Okay. Watchmaker is gone. There's no one to. Oh wait. Oh yeah, we already we already we we already heard that. Oh. Dangerous a place. The more fascinated fascinated by it. Is this what organic beings mean by emotional appeal? From a psychological point of view, the beautiful end, a beautiful end that they must traverse a crisis to reach is more likely to prove them with the more positive emotional feedback. What's more, the distortion of the space is inherently beautiful. It maintains a stability with remarkable precision and exhibits smooth and sleek pro uh, properties. I see. Thank you for my understanding of organic beings. As a cool. Cool, cool. Robin! There she is. <laughs> Everyone sang so wonderfully. It's not often that I tried this music style, but I've gained some valuable insights from it. Oh, I can't thank you enough, Robin. Well, these kids have made incredible progress in only a few days. Here they're kids! It was nothing, Grace. I, I know they're not permission because they sing. don't have the fluffy pom-pom. It was you who brought hope into their lives. Life must be quite difficult for them in reality, I imagine. That's right. Whenever it's time to say goodbye to these kids, they're reluctant to leave. But I've explored every corner of Dreamflux Reef. Talked to everyone I met. And they all told me the same thing. Shattered dream is not worth clinging to. <laughs> it seems you truly are a child of the harmony. Emma and Andy are orphans I took under my wing. Carol there with her blind eyes used to work at a nutrition center in the outer ring of Penacony. I mean, and she's not a Kieran, child. He's been living with autism since he was a child. They're not old enough to enter the sweet dream managed by the family. Work at a nutrition center. That's not a. These are child and. Oh my god, you mentioned autism. If we compare people. Are to you allowed birds, to mention autism in this? These kids are like fledglings with Cause... impaired wings. But in this dream, well, they can fly freely. Even if they stumble along the way, well, they're still relying on their own strength. Because they weren't even allowed to talk about depression in Genshin when we did that event with the dead child. And me? An old lady with no legs. Well, without this dream, I couldn't even walk toward them. I'm glad that you found a new life here in Penacony. It's just... I have prosthetics. Don't worry, Robin. 
dreams have their significance, but they aren't everything. Both the children and I understand this. No matter how long we fly through this dream, we will one day return to reality. Okay, are you implying that the autistic child is cured in the dream? Is that what you're implying? But you know what? Emma and Gary aren't plagued by their insecurities anymore. Okay, it's insecurities. No. Okay. And Carol is learning how to cope with her blindness. And Andy is livelier than ever. Well, even I've become more optimistic. I can understand the insecurities part of being autism. You see, in dreams, we learn how to live. Once we return to reality, we learn how to survive. And should our feathers be damaged, then we share our wings with one another. There's no need to covet an illusory sky in dreams. Because we have the right and the ability to fly towards a broader horizon. It's a relief to see you safe and sound, Miss Robin. It's nice to see you all again, Astro Express crew. I heard my disappearance caused quite the commotion out there. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's a, it's a story. It is a story. Since you're here, can we assume that you're fully aware of the situation in Penacony? Ever since I returned to Penacony, my voice started to change until it gradually faded away. At first, I thought it was a temporary ailment, perhaps due to having been away too long. I thought maybe it'd just take some time for my body to acclimate to the high concentration of memory and Asdana. And now it seems the root of the problem goes way beyond me. There are elements around me that don't align with the harmony. Losing my voice is just one of the signs of the sweet dream's collapse. The sweet dream's collapse? That memo keeper mentioned the same thing. So it's real. Also, s since it, they're out of line with harmony by the sound of- While I was away from Penacony, the boundaries of the Twelve Dreamscapes kept expanding outward. But whenever I mentioned the anomalies in my dreams, all the family heads refused to talk about it. Only my brother was willing to respond. I mean, he got stabbed. Later, I discovered the secret letters from the IPC ambassador, which further convinced me that there are hidden secrets beneath the surface of Penacony. Oh, you mean inventory? So, following the clues in the Oak family's dossiers, I found my way here, the land of the exiles, concealed by the family under the guise of death. A dream within a dream, where Penacony's past is buried. Hearing you speak, it sounds as if your voice has made somewhat of a recovery. Because the harmony is here? I hate to admit it, but the harmony in this place resonates more broadly than within the sweet dream. It's regrettable, but the family has experienced betrayal. The traitor, or traitors, abandoned their original principles and, using the name of Harmony, exploited people's weaknesses to turn Penacony into the planet of festivities, trapping everyone in the illusion of the sweet dream. Well, not only that is uh, the whole thing of Harmony is well, Harmony itself, and the fact that there's winners and losers and all this other stuff, and there's rich people in there and there's poor this people. Is not the strong defending the weak. But rather the yeah. strong exploiting the weak. A world without equality won't ever be favored by the harmony. And naturally, those voices blessed by them have lost the ability to sing. Could there be another force influencing the family's shift in philosophy, Miss Robin? Greed, greed, greed. Considering what happened with Acheron, it's difficult to conceive of another entity within the realm of the harmony capable of influencing everyone. Unless a power surpassing that of an emanator is involved. Uh-huh. <sighs> I'd heard about what happened to the Sienjo Alliance. But as far as I'm aware, the family hasn't faced any such external interventions. Who knows? Perhaps I've just been away too long and missed something. Regardless, I cannot accept my home is moving towards the very opposite of what the Harmony represents. 
while still claiming to uphold it. They must uncover the reason why Mikhail cut ties with the family. And who exactly it was who betrayed us all. Do you remember our arrangement, Mr. Micah? Well, here's my answer. I've decided to forgo my role and never step foot on the Charmony Festival stage again. I mean, they'll always have Sparkle. But what if you need to fight? Look here, brother. A little bird. He's cute. Looks like a fledgling Charmony dove. Oh, there, there's the dove in the, um... But Charmony doves don't live here. So, how did this little bird get here? The raven. Maybe its parents abandoned it? It looks weak and frail. Why don't we find something soft and make a nest for it? This place is too dangerous for a fledgling. Let's take it with us. We can put it on the wooden shelf in front of your window. Ah, uh, there's the nest. Okay. A bird like that must have a beautiful singing voice. But where will it live? I'll ask the family head to build a cage for it. A cage? But then it won't have the freedom to fly. But well, you can let it out right? every once in a while. Let's see. What is it that has captured the attention of the two best interpreters of the Great One? To the point that they've forgotten how to enjoy their dessert. Oh, poor little thing. Doesn't look like it's doing well. Do you want to rescue it? Same way you rescued her as uh, brother do. and sister? But I don't want to lock it up in a cage. Well, we can heal it till it's strong enough to go on its own. Why? Even if it's small and not fully feathered, and can't sing, it didn't come into this world just to be locked up in a cage. Oh, heal it and let it grow up and then let it go. Birds. They should be flying free in the sky. <laughs> That's quite the romantic idea. And what about you, a young scholar? Do you agree with your sister? I think she's right. But if we leave it out in the wild, it won't survive for more than a few days at best. Ah, I see. It seems our little scholar is still a bit unsure. Well, let me tell you youngsters a story. Okay, Grandpa. As you probably know, Charmony doves can fly through the air. When they fly really high, the friction caused by the flapping of their feathers against the atmosphere creates amazing lights. Wait, what? So that they look like shooting stars. Oh, uh, it's a friction against the... We've you seen mean this spectacle so many times that we think it's just something they can naturally do. But that's not the truth. Their radiant display uh, this is the, the same result that we were of getting. countless struggles against nature over the venturing sections. Their ancestors were too weak to survive on the ground. So, to escape predators, they started seeking new opportunities in the air. Well, it's not just to escape predators, it's also f food was higher up and you could. Untouched food is up there, too. After countless attempts by many generations, one of them finally figured out how to fly. It soared into the sky and never looked back at the ground again. Because they didn't have to wait for the fruits and stuff to fall to the ground. So, you mean, birds aren't born to fly, but they find a way to do it through their determination? Right? Well, that's an idealistic way of putting it. So, what are your thoughts, Sunday? I... I think people believe birds are meant to fly because... they've never seen those birds crashing to their death. There's a part in the song of uh, the Honkai one, that Halo Moon or whatever, that talks about seeing a dying bird falling to death. That's an interesting perspective. So, have you decided what to do with the bird now? 
for now. I'll keep it in a cage until it can take care of itself, because... I... I want it to live. No matter what. As somebody who's tried to take care of, uh, you know, a wild bunny, baby bunnies that have wandered into our house... Um... But there's a certain point where you have to accept that they won't survive as much as you want to try and... Well said, kids. It seems each of you has and found care your for it own as long answer. as possible, but... Your insights are truly remarkable. And I hope they come true in their own way. All right, Grandpa. We will take good care of it. Won't we, brother? <laughs> yeah. But, Mr. Gopherwood, there's one thing I don't quite understand. How it got here in the first place? And what might that be? My son. What if this little Charmony dove never learns to fly in the end? We'll love it all just the same. I mean, if there are fledglings in this world that can never fly throughout their lives, should we let them go back to the sky? Only to see them crash to the ground and die? Their choice. Talking in your sleep, Birdie? <laughs> Time to wake up. <sighs> Hi, Sunday. Huh? <laughs> Need a hand? I'm, I'm still alive? No. Yeah. Happy about that. Where is Robin? Tell me. Now. Are, are you going to be nicer to each other? <laughs> I knew that was going to be the first thing you'd ask. It's a surprise, surprise. Don't worry, your sister is here, safe and sound. She's probably walking around the streets now. If I were you, I'd be more worried about myself. <laughs> After all, right in front of you is the guy who just stabbed you in the chest with a dagger. That wasn't you, that was your monster! If you wanted to kill me, you wouldn't give me the chance to speak. Just tell me your demands. Lackey of the Watchmaker. So, you figured out who I am, huh? No wonder you had the guts to go against the Dream Master and the Four Families. Looks like I made the right choice. Choice? You are aware of my plan and see through my act. Time is running out, so let's drop the charades. Fictionologists. Okay, fictionology are people who uh, change history just because for the shits and giggles. I'm not joking on that. I'm suggesting we cooperate. Cooperate? What makes you think I'd cooperate with you? Uh, and what I mean by shits and giggles is basically they say that uh, by understanding the past, a uh, civilization becomes more solid in the sense of rigid in what they are so that they can't branch out in the future. Hmm. The fact that the famous Robin has chosen my side. Plus, some clues about a traitor and a bright future for Penacony. Any of that catch your interest? I find it hard to believe a man who's full of deception. Fine. You don't have to trust me. What you should trust is the sense of justice inside of you. I mean, the ambition is a form of justice. No, it's not really, but I mean... <sighs> Show me Robin first. All right, as you wish. Here she is. Huh? What's your trick this time? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, this lady will lead us to Robin, right? And the crew, too. There are too many people who you owe an explanation. Yes. <laughs> That'd be great. Please follow me, Honorable Oak Family Head. Now, all the actors are on the stage. I thought you didn't want Robin to be on the stage again. Months later. This is the monument I mentioned earlier. The names inscribed on it should be familiar to all of you. Rosalina and Tiernan. When Penacone was known as a frontier prison, 
It was the Trailblazers who connected it with the stars. Wait. They were the heroes who saved us, Dana. And their names deserve to be immortalized. Not just on this small stone tablet, but in the annals of history wait, wait, for wait. all of time. But ICP was, uh, whatever the IPC or whatever, um, was already using it as a prison colony. So it was already technically connected. However, today, the planet of festivities is nothing but sweet dreams. That heavy piece of history is all a distant memory. You know, I could do sweet dreams like joke that of singing that song, but I am betting they're going to mention this so many times that it's going to become... Their names are inscribed here. Then that means... They're alive. Kidding. According to Micah, they died long ago. Rosalina was killed during the War of Independence. She ventured alone into the heart of the star system to investigate the flow of Memoria, but she never returned. Was there a body? Tiernan was a skilled gunslinger, strong and reliable. He led the people through countless battles, but he didn't live long enough to witness the arrival of true peace. Is that Har uh, Henu? In the decade following the war, Pentagoni faced challenges internal and external. To protect Asdana, Tiernan took up the way of the Trailblaze and led the Lantmoth family to explore beyond the system, only to be surrounded and wiped out by the swarm. That far back. Though I had expected as much, the tales of these heroes truly are sorrowful. I mean, true to the title of Trailblazer, they spent their lives venturing into the unknown. But. What about this tablet? There are no names carved on it. Not dead yet? When Dreamflux Reef was created, its owner was still alive. However, he insisted on erecting a monument for himself, saying that it will happen someday. And here we meet again. Everyone from the Astral Express. Yo! Robin! Um, huh. The atmosphere sure is livened up with all these people in here. Brother. There's no need for words. You're safe. And that's all that matters. So cute! How long is that gonna be? Well, I did my job. I gathered everyone here. Gallagher will explain the rest to you. I brought Gallagher here. It's time to face the truth. I mean, I wasn't... He said it's time to face the truth like it's like a scary thing. I've been running my way this towards this the whole time. Is there anybody else I'm missing? I promised to give the siblings some privacy, so let's talk about our business first. What do you say? That sounds sensible enough. Since you went through the trouble of gathering the family head, the crew, and the Stellaron hunters, I'm guessing you have something important to say, Mr. Gallagher? Never. Oh? Is it that obvious? No. The look on your face is practically screaming, I'm the one behind all this. No. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Yang. It is indeed time to come clean on everything. I doubt that we're actually coming clean on everything, because, you know, every time I hear that, I, especially during this story... The siblings already know what they need to, and they've made their choice. But you, Nameless, arrived a bit late. So it's only fair that I answer your questions. No, we arrived exactly on time. Before we begin, let me reintroduce myself. I'm the founder of Dream Flux Reef. The deputy of the watchmaker, and the one who sent out that invitation. Surprise, surprise. As Gallagher, the history fictionologist, I humbly extend my greetings to you all. Yo. History fictionologist? So what, everything you told us was made up? Yes. Well, don't worry. Almost everything I shared was true. Well, except for the part about the family accepting me back. Yeah, because nobody seemed to know you. I double-checked with Micah, and everything he said about the family 
the watchmaker and Mikhail is true. Thank you for your understanding. Now let's get down to business. I'm sure you're all wondering why I went through the trouble of setting up this battle for the legacy. Inviting different factions and stirring up a ruckus all over Penacone. You mean the big black hole that's behind us? Well, it all boils down to something very familiar to all of you. The Stellaron. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. The Stellaron? But how is that possible? Penacone is a free-flowing interstellar hub. There are no signs of contamination whatsoever. You're totally correct. So, care to take a guess at what that means? Don't look at me, don't look at me. Someone's manipulating us. <laughs> how keen. Well, what should I say? Mm -hmm. I expected nothing less from the person here who is the most familiar with the Stellarons. I mean... I, it's inside me, but I don't know much about it. The sweet dream doesn't come out of thin air. If you think of the memory zone as the sea, creating the land of the dreams is like filling that wild ocean with earth to make an island. Huh? To achieve this feat, without the help of an emanator of remembrance or enigmata, the only way is to use a Stellaron. It's the cancer world. I mean, you can't turn cancer and into that's something. that's not something you can achieve with a simple wish. It requires vast quantities of knowledge, time, and manpower. I'm sure you get what I'm hinting at. Nah. In Azdana, the planet of festivities itself is a Stellaron disaster. It's only gonna continue onward? Uh, the... Planet of Festivities itself is a Stellaron disaster? I mean, think of uh, Pen- not Penacone, um, Bellabog, where the, whatchamacallit, talked to the Guardian leader, whatever, and convinced her to do stuff. It all started a long time ago, back when the Watchmaker and his crew liberated the Frontier Prison. They faced countless challenges as they began building Penacone from the ground up. That's when the idea of using the Stellaron came into play. The Stellaron first entered the Azdana system during the war. The Nameless warned everyone against the folly of attempting to tamper with such a power. And, and most heeded their words. But there are always people in the shadows with ulterior motives. Uh. The turning point came after Tiernan's death. With two of the Nameless gone, the Watchmaker had to go to the front lines. It was at that moment his rival saw an opportunity. Backstab? By the time a representative from the Montour system's family arrived at the Watchmaker's call, the Stellaron had already been activated and was seeping into the primordial synesthesia dreamscape. So there's so many families that are... Recognize. And I suppose the family happened to possess the knowledge to seal the Stellaron? Not just that. They knew far more about the Stellaron than the average person. They helped Mikhail swiftly quell the civil unrest and played a part in building Penacone under the disguise of the Harmony. But it wasn't Harmony. Those three eras were known as the Age of Dreaming. The Watchmaker, who had been left in the dark, sent out invitations across the universe Aww. spreading the hype around the land of the dream then how did they turn against each other i don't think they were ever on the same side remember the island in the ocean metaphor the truth is the stellaron was never truly sealed it existed in a different form within the dreamscape think about this what would it uh. cost to create and maintain such a lavish dreamland I mean, true, but also... It's people's lives. The opulent dream is built oh. upon the decay of spirits oh, no. with a toxic elixir called pleasure flowing through the dreamscape. It tempts people to indulge in the dreamscape and gradually it's their minds people. succumb, becoming nourishment for the sweet dream. I had a feeling. Confusion, laziness, and cowardice. Weaknesses that plague humanity were magnified and nourished by the family. Panacone became a new kind of prison, even more impenetrable than the previous one. Sadly, we realized this far too late. By then, yeah, the family say, had a firm grip on Penacone, swiftly quelling any opposition that arose. 
At my wit's end, I had to use the power of the Enigmata and sought refuge in this chaotic realm. Over the years, I created a meme within this dream for our use. Dormancy. That's its real name. Aww. We exploited a loophole. You see, regular people can't fall asleep again while they are inside the dreamscape. So this is the true meaning of the impossible. You sent out invitations in the Watchmaker's name Dormancy. to find forces capable of the resolving the Stellamon fine. disaster no, don't know at the and end of this story. draw them into Peniconi to uncover the truth. It's not just that. Above all, I wanted to see what happens when the major factions engage in a struggle for the legacy. Since this is the Watchmaker's first announcement in decades, the traitor within the family is bound to reveal themselves. You know how um, the general, my mind's dying, yeah, uh, mentioned about waiting uh, for, you know, the reason why he knew where the Stellaron was the entire time, and he was just waiting for them to activate it, pulling up the weed with, from its roots. So, the legacy is just a facade. I mean, not really. Hmm. If you want to consider the Stellaron as the legacy, I'm totally fine with that. No, the, the legacy is... If that's the case, where is the Stellaron now? That's a question Truth. for Mr. Wing. The Stellaron is still under the family's control, and as the head of the Oak family, I'm sure he holds all the answers. I bet they hate the fact that... he's now... on, so... Go ahead. I'm sure Mr. Wings holds all... Mm, I want chicken wings. As I suspected, the core of this issue lies within the Stellaron. Ah, uh, Stellaron. You all look quite serious. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, Misha, head pads, you're fine. Are you done talking? So... Will you tell us where the Stellaron is? <laughs> it is the Panacone Grand Theater itself. Oh, as I suspected, it's the embodiment of so the you family. You can't step on the stage. The edifice that first materialized within the Sweet Dream. That's what turned Panacone into its current state. As for the person who employed its power, it is in fact Mr. Gopherwood. The current dream master. You mean the nice well, one? Well, that was one? easier than I thought. Did you conduct your own investigation he already? He was also the one that told him to stop. Correct. When I was trying to track down the person who murdered my sister, apart from you, Gopherwood was my second suspect. <laughs> Confronting me first turned out to be a smart move on your part. He walked in the door. I didn't have other options. The Dream Master has been elusive. And even the heads of the families can hardly get an audience with him. Moreover, Mr. Gopherwood has been kind to my sister and me. And I didn't want it all to end like this. I stabby stabby for you. What do you mean by that? To be honest, my brother and I are also victims of the cancer of all worlds. We grew up as orphans. And were adopted by the family when they came to help. Mr. Gopher Wood recognized our potential and brought us to Penacony. But I can't just stand by and watch Mr. Gopher Wood become an enemy of the Harmony. I won't use my voice to support an evil cause. I won't step on that stage and sing. No matter who the traitor is, or what orders they give me. I won't let the Charmony Festival become an event that destroys Harmony itself. Destroys you e mean they're trying to go after the Aeon? For the paradise in our dreams. Indeed. For the paradise in our dreams. As the head One of the of Oak us. family, I'm responsible for ensuring Panacone's promising future. Robin and I will head into the sweet dream and confront the Dream Master. And if it turns out that the family has truly strayed from the harmony. Why didn't you bring us with you? I'll fight alongside you. Oh, okay. We'll put the Charmony Festival on hold and make sure Mr. Gopherwood pays for his blood debt. Don't, don't go in there without me. The enemies me. you are about to face aren't like this old dog here who can barely even bark. Take me with you. Since our interests are aligned, 
Why don't we team up? Maybe, just maybe, we'll have a shot at success. Stellaron versus Stellaron. We have always been following in the footsteps of our nameless predecessors. And there's no reason to stop now. Violet, Violet. Yeah, we nameless won't back down from a challenge. Isn't that right, Miss Trailblazer? Heroes never back down, peace was never an option. Hey, ain't nothing to fear no more. We'd win. Heroes never back down, peace was never an option. Exactly! It's time for the crew to save the world once more! The galaxy. Rest assured, sitting on the sidelines isn't in our nature. Mr. Sunday, Miss Robin, I'm willing to accompany you on behalf of the Astral Express. Having a third party present should help with negotiations. And could make all the difference if things get ugly. Yeah, don't trust us with the negotiations, ever. Thank you, you go... Mr. Yang. <laughs> Yang. Thank you all very much. The Charmony Festival is about to start, and time is against no, us. No, not really. I, I can spend as much we time must. as a month. Everyone, let's gather over here. We still need to make some preparations. Yeah, Venturi, where the fuck are you? I don't have a problem. I may have been quick to step up to the plate, but confronting the Dream Master could be a very dangerous affair. Let me say something. Uh huh? Even you're saying that, Mr. Yang? Uh, uh, how powerful is that Dream Master? I mean, still are on levels of powerful. He's the leader of the families of Penaconi, and he has the entire power of the harmony behind him. Does he? Because. Not to mention the Stellaron in the his possession. The harmony seems to be we must proceed abandoning. With great caution. Maybe you can just stay behind this time, Mr. Yang? He has a fucking black hole and he's gotta use it. No, that won't do. Even if we count Robin as an ally, something felt off about Mr. Sunday just now. Is he being possessed? Although Is he being possessed? Is he being... I can't quite put my finger on it. I have to make sure he won't turn against us when things start to get dicey. You're still carrying the keepsake the IPC envoy gave you, right? May I borrow it for a moment? Summon him, summon him. Huh. I knew it. Well, I also have something from Black... On. As I suspected, this chip Venturine gave to you is actually a miniature transmitter. Oh, surprise, surprise, not really. If I'm right, he intends to use it to track your location or contact you when needed. As it so happens, this may actually be of some use in the current situation. Aventurine? Yes! Is he still alive? Thank God! And what does he have to do with our mission to confront the Dream Master? Nothing. Remember what I said earlier? Working with the IPC is a way to keep the family in check. If negotiations go south and the family show their true colors by going after the Stellaron, I'll... The only question mark in all of this is Venturine's current status. But the IPC is up. always listening, especially senior strategic investment department heads like him. Getting the message across shouldn't be a problem. Good luck to you, Welt. Well, you take care too. If anything goes wrong, don't worry about me. Just make sure to seal the Stellaron. Why are you not bringing me with you? Why? Spoken like a true hero. He has a black hole. He's fine. Even if the Dream Master is innocent, the family's corruption runs deep. I won't make the same mistake Mikhail did. Let's wish him the best of luck. Don't you have something else to tell us, Gallagher? I knew it. Why would you say so? <laughs> Before we departed, the conductor asked us to inquire about the three nameless in Penaconi. We've already collected intel about Rosalina and Tiernan, so the only one left is Legwork. I've... If I'm not mistaken, we've already met him some. Hmm. It's not enough to say. If I'm not mistaken, we've already met him somewhere. Haven't we? Is he Hanu? Say meet, but the answer is pretty obvious. 
After all, I've hinted at it in quite an evident way. I've been watching over you ever since I received the reply from the Astral Express. And I've seen the great effort you all put into linking different realms together across the cosmos. And now, after getting this far all in one piece, you have truly proven yourselves. I thought you said all in one piece. Is somebody going to die? Miss Himiko, were you the one who repaired the Express and got it sailing through the cosmos again? Yes. And you two, young Nameless, you have very interesting life stories and extraordinary skills. Technically, March doesn't. I don't like either of those answers. Doesn't have them. Uh, of course, my reputation precedes me. Believe in the galactic baseballer supremacy. What? Uh, hey, you can't just make up titles like that. Yes, I can, because I just did. <laughs> You're full of energy. Please send my regards to the conductor, Pom Pom. Please let them know that their friend had fond memories from his time aboard the Express. Leg which he reminisce on every Leg time work. he had a good drink. As for the last nameless, he embarked, disembarked, and embarked again, traveling in a great circle, ending up back where he started. On his deathbed, he told me to find the Astral Express and deliver an invitation to the future nameless. He left behind a special gift. A true legacy. Something that belongs only to the successors of the Trailblade. Come with me. Now is the time to reveal it. A hat? Hat? Am I gonna get stabbed? Am I gonna get stabbed? Uh, back here again. Sometimes I feel like you're still alive, old friend. Like you've still got so much to say and do. Uh, uh, how old are you? I've kept my promise. I brought the future trailblazers you've waited so long for. I don't know why you were so obsessed with that train. But I remember your last words. Don't let us down, old man. Is it becoming Gundam? <sighs> Is that the last words? What a type of last words. Go ahead. His resting place lies in the garden up ahead. Did. The first and last nameless of Penacony. Mikhail Char Legwork, the watchmaker. I. Oh. If I find any birds up here, I am going to be very confused. That they're laying down. <laughs> All of them seem to be, yeah, single, like sitting. <sighs> please don't stab me. Please don't stab me. Please don't stab me. I, I have a problem with being stabbed. There's no birds up. And that's a... Beneath the sea surface of the memory zone, in a garden closest to the moon, full moon in water, an elderly man rests on a recliner invoked in silence. The watchmaker, Mikhail Charlotte Work, has passed into that endless, timeless dream where no sound could ever awaken him. But his body still... Oh, sure enough. Lived. The watchmaker is the third nameless. Even I could guess that one. 
No bacteria here to decompose them. The legacy he left behind is a dream bubble. I believe inside that bubble, there's something that holds meaning only for the nameless. After all, when I checked its contents, I found nothing inside. Maybe some trailblaze runes? Even more mysterious than me. Well, let's have a look. As the world's words cease, Himiko nods ever so slightly in your direction. You take a deep breath, steady your mind, and turn your gaze towards the watchmaker. <laughs> Why me? I, I know Stellaron. Touch the dream bubble and inhale. For the longest, Himiko. You press your hand against the dream bubble, and the thick, viscous memoria cover emerges under strain, then stretches outward from your fingertips. As if weaving a delicate web, it gently craters your palm. Good thing I'm not being stabbed. Yet. Pill travels from your fingertips, carrying with it a myriad of vibrant and intertwined memories, as experience would suggest. This time, you see nothing at all. Take I hear a bird, though. Take a deep breath and try and read the b dream bird uh, bubble. The dream bubble is clearly extraordinary, perhaps approaching with strong, holding your breath and closing your eyes. With one knee on the ground, you press your forehead against the thin film coated memoria. Yet before you, there remains an abyss of darkness. No crimson sun descending upon snow capped mountains, no gentle laughter. Why am I thinking that, though? No twinkling stars, no echoed of stars, uh, short swords clashing, and most of all, no traces of trailblaze. There's nothing. Nothing is there. Indubitably. This is but an empty dream bubble. Wait, what's going on? Seriously? Uh, there's nothing inside this dream bubble? The, the Raven po poem. Hmm. How could a dream bubble be empty? <laughs> Just as I suspected. That old man always had this strange belief in the nameless and the trailblaze. And I never understood where he got that confidence from. Especially since he never managed to get in touch with the Express while he was alive. I could never figure out what was going on in you that old was, man's head. Did, what, huh? This empty dream bubble is in so touch, Was typical. that after he left? He was always full of weird fantasies and incomprehensible romanticism. <laughs> that mischievous old man. Well... I didn't expect him to leave anything concrete behind anyway. Don't think that's the case, Gallagher. There is a I'm bird sure here! Mikhail has left us the most the precious thing bird. of all. <laughs> Don't start getting all philosophical on me, all right? Friendship? Just as Mikhail believes in the nameless of the future, we unconditionally believe in the nameless of the past. How could they leave with regrets for the future when they were ready to dedicate their lives to the land they loved? There must be something contained in this dream bubble. It's just we haven't figured it out yet. You also have faith in the Watchmaker, don't you, Gallagher? Bring the grandson up here. Well, I'm a follower of the Enigmata. My philosophy forbids me to have faith in anything. Cool. That's why I understand what faith means in the path of Trailblade. I also want to know what he left behind. <laughs> I'll leave it to you guys then. Left behind a grandson. Hmm. A child and then a grandson. Can I borrow your pet? I need to make a trip back to Golden Hour and check something at the Dreamscape sales store. It's for Mikhail and for the future of Penacony. Ten hours. Oh. Welcome to the Reverie Hotel. How may I help you? Greetings. We're the Nameless from the Astral Express, and we'd like to check in. The Astral Express? But I thought... Sorry, Ellie. Yes, my companions already checked in. My name is Dan Hung, and I believe my personal information is recorded in your system. I see, but your companion said you wouldn't be coming due to a change of plans. Well, here's a new change of plans. <laughs> now the plans have changed again. And you are... Hot, I mean. Me? Uh, I'm... Pom Pom. <laughs> uh, new Nameless, who's also with Dragon <laughs> <Angel> Express. <clears throat> he 
He's my fellow trailblazer. We responded to the family's invitation before he boarded the express. So he wasn't registered in your system. <clears throat> Is it he possible to annoyed. accommodate him as well? Oh, I see. Another one of the nameless had a similar situation. Seems like a lot of people are joining the trailblaze these days. Yeah. Since there's a precedent, it shouldn't be a problem. Just give me a second to contact your companions. Yeah, we are currently out of the system right I'm now. I'm sorry, dear guests, but it seems I'm unable to reach the other members of the Astral Express. What do you mean by unable to reach them? We're dead. My apologies. This is the first time I've encountered a situation like this. However, the system indicates that those guests are still in the dreamscape. How about this? Give me their room number, and we'll go check on them ourselves. You have to say that so creepily? I'm afraid that's not possible. I need to verify both of your identities before I can share any guest information. How about you just wake up someone? Let's say, uh... Welt? I'm sorry, but there are strict rules regarding forced awakening. It cannot be done without the proper clearance. Don't get out your gun, don't get out your gun. So nothing works, huh? What's your solution, then? Are you saying we sleep here? At the reception? Please be patient. We need to contact your companions in order to confirm your identities. And now it seems you need to confirm our identities before you can contact our companions. <sighs> it seems so. Hey, quit catch 22. Oh, fudge. Look, nothing personal, but if you can't handle this, go find someone else who can. Okay? And he's dead. Uh, please calm down, dear guests. I do recall that Mr. Sunday, the Oak family head, personally handled this issue earlier. Oh, please wait a moment while I contact him. I don't think she's trying to give us a hard time. She really just doesn't know what to do. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. You tried to contact them on the express earlier, oh, but fine. they didn't respond. <sighs> Something doesn't seem right. I need to leave for a moment. You can stay here with the receptionist. Don't threaten. Sure thing. Just don't keep me waiting forever. We'll see. Don Hung seems pretty worried about his companions. I should give him some space. Stressing out about it won't help anything. Boot hell, broken arrow. Ah, uh, <laughs> that ass. I mean, <laughs> I don't have a problem. Shut up. Running late again. Seeing if there's any random things to talk. Sabrina, teenage witch. The Charmony Festival is about to start! I'm so excited! Hey! You guys here for the Charmony Festival, too? I just realized they let his gun through. Well, He's not I didn't to, come they're all the not way supposed to allow the guns through! Festival. Honestly, I don't really even know what it's about. But I heard it's a lot of fun! Take weapons. Well, back in my home world, Anaria, we have festivals like that all the time. My dad threw me a birthday party one time that was just as extravagant as the Charmony Festival. Do, do you think you could find a fashion designer that would have your hat match your dress? A rich person? Oh, come on! The Charmony Festival is a once-in-an-amber-era event! How can a birthday party compare? Well, you never know, right? Maybe on her world, birthdays only happen once in amber. Anyway, let's forget about that. Have you heard about the, uh, unsettling things happening in the dreamscape? Unsettling things? What could possibly go wrong? It better not ruin the Charmony Festival! I've been looking forward to it! Nah, there's no stellar on the cancer of world. With a big event like this, there's bound to be lots of gossip and rumors. Don't worry. If anything does happen, the family will be on top of it. 
Yeah, the family's not on top of the fact that he got guns through the thing that you said you're not supposed to bring weapons in. <sighs> oh, that's a relief. I didn't come all this way to see the festival go down the drain. Be any more sarcastic? Well, looks like I won't get any fudging clues out of these two. I hate They're that he can't... I mean, he's a cowboy. Just say fucking, but I know that th th there's a rule against this, but it just doesn't feel right to keep hearing fudging out of him. Especially with his outfit. Why? Greetings. I'm Cody of the Bloodhound family, head of security for the hotel. How may I assist you? Hello. So, uh, there's something I wanted to ask about. Yeah. I've been hearing some unsettling rumors about certain incidents that might affect the Charmony Festival. Do you think there's anything to be worried about? I've traveled all the way from the Hayai Federation, and I don't want my trip to be ruined. But he, you, you're lying to them when you already gave the excuse your pom pom. Um, what do you mean? Wait, you haven't heard. Like he told, she told guests. I'm not sure where you heard those rumors, but they're completely baseless. I can assure you, as a representative of the Bloodhound family, that everything is going smoothly for the Charmony Festival. At present, all of the families are focused on making sure the festival starts on time. Even the Dream Master himself has arrived. No, so don't worry. We get to Your beat him trip up. Won't be in vain. Murder. Murder. Uh, murder. <laughs> She doesn't appear to be acting. So, it seems that even the hotel abs. staff are out of the loop. I mean, half abs. I mean, metal abs. Back already? Hasn't she returned yet? Nope. I'm starting to wonder. Sending her to contact Sunday was a good idea. Stab, stab. Neither the staff nor the guests seem to know anything about what's happening in the dreamscape. And wherever we go... All we see is people enjoying themselves. Oh no, people are enjoying Definitely themselves. Oh no. Sign. I agree. Another unusual thing is that the Oak family is supposed to be in charge of organizing the council and managing everything inside and outside the dreamscape. However, they, they came down with a sudden case of death. I kinda. walked around the hotel, but didn't meet a single member of the Oak family on such an important day. Well, I'll be forked. If I remember correctly, I'll be forked. the head of the Yoke family is that Sunday guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shouldn't linger here too long. Let's go back to the Express for now. Uh, not so fast. Have you ever robbed the IPC? Broke? If you run Bro, away now, does he look like everyone it? will be chasing after you. Are you suggesting we sit here and do nothing? I wouldn't say do nothing. But let's stay put for now. Even if the family has ulterior motives, they couldn't have anticipated us showing up here. We're the surprise fact. They don't want to attract unwanted nope, attention from certain outsiders, so... They won't do anything reckless. See? The IPC lackeys are keeping a close eye on this hotel. Oh yeah, he's really wanted by them. If I were a family member, I'd find an official excuse and keep the surprise factors here. If we just wait here, that would be like walking into their trap. Well, knowing about the trap, does that still make it a trap? Of course, we don't need to walk into their trap. I gave a backup plan to the memo keeper. If it turns out we won't be allowed to enter the dreamscape, she'll order a drink for me in the VIP lounge at the hotel. In reality... Drag us there? A secret signal. That's right. Oh, a concrete object can indeed help the memo keeper establish a connection with you. But Boot Hill, if you have more backup plans in the future, I hope you'll let me know in advance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's one of my quirks. I have too many unreliable friends. And if I reveal that I have backup plans, things can 
Things can go awry. Trust issues, boy. And that would leave all backup plans completely useless. How do we get into the VIP lounge? This is where my street smarts come into play. Streets. You can actually book a stay on credit. And the interest is surprising. And it's not really street smarts if you go to the, You're the lobby manager. Lobby manager. That's not quite right. Yes, I am. How may I assist you? We're the nameless from the Astro Express. We wanted to check in, but there's something wrong with your system. The lady at the front desk said she would contact the manager, but now she's nowhere to be found. Throw her under the bus, why don't you? We've been waiting here forever without any food or water. You're a what cyborg, the fork, you man? It. Is this how the family treats its guests? <clears throat> Is this your idea of street smart? Shh, let him cook. Starting let him an cook. altercation? Let him cook. It's called standing up for your rights. All right, American. I apologize for the inconvenience. Please wait while we try to contact Mr. Sunday. I'll arrange two premium seats in the VIP lounge so you can rest there while you wait. <laughs> He carried them. Just like that. Just, uh, just don't call yourself nameless next time. He calls himself Pom Pom, though. He wow, entered. This bar is something else. Certainly worthy of the planet of festivities. Think better. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi. Hey, Anderson. I. Have an order for a bottle of his Donna's White Oak. Can you help us find it? Has Donna's White Oak? Hmm. I think there might be a misunderstanding. We don't serve that here. Oh, no way. Are you sure you're not mistaken? If someone had reserved such a beverage, I would definitely remember it. It sells for hundreds of thousands of credits per bottle, after all. Ah. <sighs> I couldn't afford to cover for such an item if it were broken or lost. Oh, I mean, I, I'm broke because I keep leveling That's up my That's strange. Well, could it be that the memo keeper couldn't afford it? Then what should we do now? Oh, no need to rush. But let's grab some drinks first. Maybe I arrived too early and she hasn't come yet. Hardy har har. Let's see what kind of juice malts you all have here. Huh. Well, give me a glass of Heenum Valley, 40 years. I'll have it neat. No ice. Well, that's the most expensive one on the list. You have a taste for the finer things. So what about the one we just mentioned before? That's the most uh, expensive, but it's not on the list. It's on right the yet. house, anyway. What can I get for you? Anything you recommend is fine. Then I would recommend today's special, Glass Village. It's classic Soul Glad mixed with Laboom juice. It's refreshing Laboom and juice. suits your cool demeanor. Hmm, just cool one minute. Demeanor. Ah, this flavor. Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. What Ooh, the fu really what? hits the spot. Truly. Find a sherry cask aged malt juice in the cosmos. Gonna get drunk. Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Uh, is that really something that humans enjoy? He's not human. <laughs> hey, this guy doesn't know anything at all. As long as you're satisfied, dear guests, please enjoy. Let's give the memo keeper another half system hour. If she doesn't show up, we'll need to come up with a new plan. In the meantime, let's take stock of the situation. What do you think? The drinks here are good. The situation is unclear. Something must have happened on the planet of festivities. Can we talk but the public to the is unaware of it. That could be listening in? Someone in a position of power within the family must be covering it up. It's unusual for the followers it's of the Harmony to invite other factions. Let alone the IPC and the Masked Fools. <sighs> if what oh, you no, said about the Emanator like of the Nihility is true, face back the there. situation in Penacony is I don't know. a little complicated. Looks like it was floating, but no, it's to say the least. Thin. 
Actually, Me distracted? there's something no. else I'm concerned about. Regarding Acheron. As you know, the faction that follows the path of the hunt are some of the most dangerous folks in the cosmos to mess with. I mean, who in their right mind would impersonate the Sienjo Alliance or the Galaxy Rangers? It's like asking for a death wish. She's an emulator of nihility. Isn't there a saying among the Sienjo people that uh, the rainbow set lets their lux arrow do all the beating? I mean, it, I, I do do that in the, um, simulated universe. Talking. Do all the talking. Same thing. Well, you know what I mean. Even though the Galaxy Rangers have been out of sight for years, we've been keeping an eye on this region. Even the dumbest criminals know better than to mess with the Annihilation Gang, much less the Rangers. I need to run you the restroom again. I am so sorry. But that Acheron lady, she doesn't seem like a lunatic at all. On the contrary, she's highly logical and organized. She knows exactly when to hold back and when to strike without mercy. Hmm. And do you believe that someone like her would have an ulterior motive for impersonating a galaxy ranger? Never. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure, but I do have my suspicions. Maybe she knows a Galaxy Ranger, or perhaps she's trying to lure us out for some reason, which I can't figure out. Anyway, what worries me more are the anomalies within the family. They've summoned followers from various paths for the festival. No matter how generous such a gesture is, this move seems highly unusual. Unless the invitations weren't sent by them. Uh, if that's the case, it's even more intriguing that the family insists on organizing the Charmony Festival, despite the chaos. Well, maybe it's she pay the harmony pulling the strings. Mm. You find it beyond human understanding because it wasn't arranged by humans at all. No, it was arranged by a dead person. Does that count? People do stupid things out of irrational impulses. They abandon their principles when self-interest is involved. I wonder. They believe in things they know they shouldn't and budge. And go they against, you know, their, their um, you know, God. But eons don't. They stick to their determined path and never turn back. Or they die. Even if they reach a dead end. They, they stop existing. That's what happened with the order. Do you think Shipei's will is behind all this? It may not necessarily be Shipei. But there's definitely some higher entity involved. Uh, I know it Celeron? may sound pessimistic. Celeron? Celeron? But human free Including will, me? we're reliable. Why would we even need Galaxy Rangers? It's much simpler when you boil it down to the eons and paths. Like how Lon always follows the path of the hunt, or, or how the Express stays true to the Trailblaze despite Akavili's disappearance. But in my opinion, 
Akavili's fall holds significance for the Nameless. Continue oh. onward. So you're saying the Nameless now have to take responsibility for their own choices because their absolutely right leader is gone? That's not what we said. Exactly. I believe the purpose of the journey isn't just about following a path that's always considered absolutely right. It's more about doing your best to choose the right path for yourself among countless possibilities. I think that always was what it was. Even, I don't know what you've been through, but I... It's more about doing your best to choose the right path for yourself among countless possibilities, even with limited insight and judgment. I agree that people must take responsibility for their choices because no one else can do it for them. That's why the Galaxy Rangers need to uncover the imposter and figure out her true intentions. You were threatening to shoot her when you were talking to Black Swan. Just in case. I have a backup plan if the Memo Keeper doesn't show up. This is my final backup plan. I promise. Exit out, exit out! You sure have a lot of cards up your sleeve. For having your sleeves rolled up. Well, going back to my old career would make things a lot easier. Gun? By the way, when you were walking around the hotel, did you happen to see any important looking guests? Are, are we gonna stick them up? Are we gonna steal? What's your plan? Violence. It's simple. We just grab some hostages and use them as bargaining chips with the family. Or maybe we can even take their identities. Boot hell. No need for that. We'll return to the express now. Wait. Are you getting scared? <laughs> Draw your weapon. Let's make a big scene. Boyo! Are you leaving, esteemed guests? Uh, would you like to cancel that as Donna's White Oak you just ordered? Huh? As Donna's White Oak? But... Didn't you just say... Memo Keeper, Memo Keeper. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like you are a bit intoxicated, esteemed guests. Uh, you ordered a bottle of As Donna's White Oak just a moment ago. Mm hmm. Looks like your Memo Keeper friend has finally arrived. Ah, uh, good! No hostages. <sighs> oh, right. Sorry, my memory's not the best. You know, too many modifications and all. Sure. <laughs> anyway, let me check. Well, I'll be waiting for you on the Astral Express. No mistake, that's her message to you. She knew the hotel wasn't safe, so she suggested we find another place. Well, looks like we took a detour, but... Now it's back to the Astral Express. Yeah, Pom Pom, let's so, go. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Any violence on the way there? You're back? Two guests just boarded saying they were looking for Boot Hill, so I told them to wait in the parlor car. Two? Oh, just in time. Two? Two guests? Yeah, or two. Look, we welcome all passengers on the Astral Express, but sneaking in like that, you have no regard for etiquette. I mean, my apologies, Conductor. It was an oversight on my part. I assumed you were already acquainted with the Garden. Yeah, because I told Given him Given the that... chaotic situation in Panacone, the Nameless are the only ones we can truly trust right now. You are the Memo Keeper. No... Pleased to meet you, Don Hung. I've seen you in others' memories. And as for Boot Hill, this is our first face-to-face -face meeting. I hope you enjoyed that bottle of Astana's White Oak. It wasn't a you bottle, sure it was a glass. A taste. Finally, Memo Keeper. Well, let's cut to the chase. Spill everything you know. He won't, because nobody else here seems to. That's precisely what I intend to do. But before that, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Black Swan. Hi, Akron. And I serve the Garden of Recollection as a memo keeper. As for Acheron's story, 
I'm sure she knows it better than I do. Don't put your claw at your weapon, boot boot hill. Greetings. I'm Acheron. What? You garden of recollection shirtbag! You betrayed me! You wanted to meet her! I apologize, but she did that at my request. Due to certain reasons, I have been exiled by the family. Thankfully, this memo keeper came to my aid and helped me escape their surveillance unnoticed. To be honest, it was more like stalking than helping. And the process was far from unnoticed. But we did escape. I asked her to guide me to a place beyond the family's reach and to contact a few trustworthy individuals. Namely, all of you. Trustworthy? <laughs> Son of a nice lady. You think no, I'm dumb or something? No, daughter of a something? nice lady. How about this? I'll put a few bullet holes in your head and see well, what she's secrets spill dead. out. Dead. You can't then get that. We can talk about trust. Unless those are like memory bullets. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm willing to answer all your questions, but not right now. If my cover hadn't been blown, we might have had more time. But at the moment, we don't have any other options. Jojo motherfucking pose. No other options. What do you mean? This is the only way I can ensure everyone's safety. I kindly request an immediate warp jump out of the Astana star system. <sighs> this passenger is requesting... As far as I can tell, she's not a threat and seems to be telling the truth. I've briefly traveled with your companions and know their whereabouts, Don Hung. Please rest assured, your nameless companions are safe, but they need our help. As for Boot Hill, you may have guessed. I've been waiting for you. Galaxy Rangers are known for their elusive nature and limited contact with each are, other. Are, are we gonna go get so this was the are only we gonna way get the Alliance? To you. Only by doing this can I find a true Galaxy Ranger and fulfill a long standing promise to return his relics to their rightful owner. Someone once told me that every rainfall is like a gift from the heavens, a sign of their mercy upon the world. But you could have Raindrops given are said to be the tears of the gods, shed in response to the sorrows of the world. Their constant pouring is a reminder Cyclops? that the gods haven't abandoned us yet. So, how long has this rain been going on for? Those are hands. Those are hands. I used Arms. to believe, just like you, that it would eventually stop. Years and decades uh, passed. The linded y y y y And it looks like the god you mentioned doesn't exist after all. Nihility? As he spoke, the old man's gaze remained fixed at on the distance, amidst the fine drizzle of black rain, countless shadowy hands emerged from the sea, shrouded in an ethereal mist, reaching out towards the sky one by one. Well, Rosary. let me share a story with you. Oh good, another old man sharing stories. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These rip and oh. for some... I'm sorry. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean, leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. Their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Like 
those shadows on the ocean. Sin thirsters. The obsessions of the Path Striders. They emerge from the depths of Ix, seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny, unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. Oh. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. Uh, if However, they... Oh, nihility, so it's actually not nihility. Phantoms. But head towards nihility. Oh. They were once my dear companions. A group of galaxy rangers. Are you watching over them? I mean... Watching over them? No. I'm guiding them toward transcendence. You mean Nihility? It was a brutal war. A crusade that shook the universe. Um. The universe witnessed the fall of Zulo, the Lord Ravager. Which is one of the Aeons price. of Destruction emulator. <laughs> a price so hefty that only those who were there still remember. And they're reaching out to Nihility because it was too brutal for them and they just want to be erased? The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. So someone must guide these lost souls to their life beyond. They were heroes in their time. But Nihility and doesn't they shouldn't be reduced to mere puppets of the nihility. As for me, I've suffered too many losses on that battlefield to advance any further. And that makes me the most fitting person to carry out this task. But you know, these sin thirsters, they're not who they used to be. They zombies? Does this seem pointless to you? I mean, you seem to have a will for it. Well, some tasks and have to be done, even if they are pointless. I mean, you don't see it as, well, you kind of see it as pointless, because you're saying that it is, but I mean, the fact that you're determining and doing it means that it's important to you, therefore not uh, pointless. <coughs> I can help you. For what? For the meaning of the nihility. That's what I've been seeking. I see. After all, this realm is off limits to ordinary souls, right? Yeah. Thank you, stranger. I wish that you find what you seek. Before we part ways, I have one more question. It is true that their actions and even their entire lives may seem pointless from our perspective. But if, and it's just an if, if this is what the departed ones expected, should we try to change it? A good question. And a profound one. I don't know the answer. What I do know is that one day, I too will pass away. And when I bid farewell to this world, someone will stand at my grave and place a bouquet of flowers on it. Her? I mean, if it's like, if you're in a land that did not better. In hours. When I appeared as a child, my speech, mindset, and soul reflected immaturity and innocence. What do you mean appeared as a child? You were a child and you grew up! As I grew into adulthood, I left behind my childlike side. No, 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 no. Don't start quoting the serpent at me. Play. 
I humbly request your blessings, esteemed advocate of Shipe. Come to me, my kinship. I have sought their presence with us. Confessional? As you wish. I have faithfully served the Alfalfa family for nearly a decade, promoting the path of the harmony to the best of my ability. However, I made a mistake yesterday. While I was preparing dinner for the family head, I accidentally dropped a prepared dish on the floor. It's an accident! Out of laziness, I lied and claimed that everything was ready. <laughs> Although the head has dismissed me as punishment, it has been tough to sleep with the guilt still gnawing It's not at out me, of laziness! As I worry that the seeds of evilness may have taken root in my soul. It's not lazy, so, it's... Either embarrassment I confess or to you now to, be to seek atonement punished. for my sins. It was the fear of punishment. It's not. It's not as. Do you sincerely repent and vow to change your ways? Hate this. <sighs> yes. Have you examined your soul and confessed all your sins? You just realized it's a. Oh, yes. Are you willing to accept the process of atonement? <laughs> yes. Are you going to make him... Very well. Show your dedication and goodwill to the family, and you shall be reinstated among them. Now, please, leave in peace. It's in harmony. Oh, pray, Shipe. This is in harmony. And thank you. This is subjugation. Advocate. Next, please step forward. I, I wholeheartedly confess to you. Please pardon my sins. Every second of this. Rest assured, I have implored their presence to be with us. As long as you are sincere, Isn't... absolution will be granted. Oh, oh great. This is more... You know, I... I arrived in Panacone as a stowaway. I sold everything to get a ticket. My this house, is order. my this land, is and... in the sense. My two children. I see. Please, go on. Well, my children were starving. And I hoped they'd have a chance at survival if they became slaves here. If... If I can strike it rich here, I'll lift them out of that situation and give them the life they deserve. They're slaves! You'll have to buy them back and also fuck you! But the Bloodhound family got wind of it. They're on my tail, hunting me down. I thought I could bring my kids here. It, it was all my fault. The family is ready to forgive all sinners. I'll ask the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. You, could... you don't need to live in fear if anymore. If you were a stowaway, how did you earn enough money to buy back your children? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll work my hardest to redeem my children and make them part of the family. Praise. Praise the harmony. Subjugation. Next, please step forward. Hey, long time no see, Mr. Sunday. The most esteemed individual in Pentacone, and the next leader of the Oak family. What right? the flattering you fucking want? I have sought their presence with us. Let us proceed. Sure, let's just get this over with. <clears throat> I have sinned, please forgive me. I wasted half a pizza at breakfast and a bottle of soul blab. Pizza, 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 off with this fucking head. That's it, nothing more. When we wrap this up, I've got a robo ball game to catch, you know? Do you seek to atone for your sins through good deeds? It's order, it's balancing it out, it's equilibrium. My sins? Oh, I'm starting to sound like a saint, huh? Well, let me tell you something. 
Neither the family nor you have the right to judge me. Then why the fuck are you here? You think nobody knows what your precious family has done? About the watchmaker? Huh? <laughs> Don't kid yourself, Featherbrain. Those dream chasers might be fooled by your act. Don't fool yourself. I repeat, why the fuck are you here? Before if you don't believe... you start spouting off your holy verses, answer me this. Where does the power of the Oak family come from? And your power? What makes you think you can sit there all high and mighty, looking down on everyone else? Because people like you show up here and ask for forgiveness. I repeat, why the fuck are you here? Is someone requiring you to be here? Or are you just here to be an ass? Well, I've spent enough time in confession today to enter the Harmony's Paradise, right? Then I'll take my leave. Oh, you have to do it. Good luck with your election. And, uh, don't make me regret my investments in you. So basically, you're nagging him. You're insulting him, then saying, Hey, I bought you. Revere triple-faced soul, hear my doubts. Who can judge the strong when their power hides their crimes? No one. No one. Who can vouch for the weak when they will pay any price to survive? No one. Who can comfort the purest souls when even they get led astray? No one. If the strong defending the weak is truly the foundation of paradise. Then Pentaconi has failed. Then who? Who is responsible for the suffering and anguish in this wretched world? People like that merchant. Brother? Brother? Brother, are you all right? Does he look all right? I'm... Fine. I've been working long hours, and I just made a trip to Dreamflux Reef and back. So, I'm a bit out of sorts. But it'll all be over before we know it. Who's dying? Who's dying? You've been working non-stop on the Charmony Festival, Mr. Sunday, and no one could have predicted this incident. Even if the Stellaron does pose a grave threat, I still feel sorry for all the trouble we've caused you. Is Walt taller than Sunday? <laughs> no need to worry about troubling anyone. The Charmony Festival was meant to spread joy and harmony across the cosmos. But now that we know the truth, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel it. It has always been our wish to make everyone happy, so... We'll do our best to explain everything to the Dream Master. And he'll have you I'm prison, sure he'll understand. you know? Like that bird. Even if the negotiation does not go smoothly, I'll refuse to go on stage. Without the Chordmaster, the Harmonious Choir would not arrive, and the Charmony Festival oh, would be gonna just be a up. grand performance, and nothing more. <laughs> I'm relieved to see your determination. You know, since arriving in Penacone, we haven't had any contact with this Dream Master himself. I'd heard of the heads of the five major lineages, but the Dream Master is a mystery to me. The Dream Master rarely grants an audience, even for us. But, given the urgency of the situation, he's agreed to meet us in person. Uh, <laughs> you already contacted him? Perhaps you'll be the first guest to meet the Dream Master in years, Mr. Yang. Yay? Let's hope we can reach a consensus that satisfies everyone. We won't. Indeed. Let us hope so. It's about time. We'll have to get ready for the meeting. I apologize for any inconvenience caused by the urgency. Don't worry. I'll be waiting here. And we never saw them again. Thank you for everything you've done. I'll be waiting here.
Oh, Mr. Sunday. Hey there! Okay, see the moon in the sky? It's about the size of the cap on my Soul Glad bottle. Cool. If I just reach down my hand, I could grab the moon, couldn't I? Yes, y yes. <laughs> the, the moon? You mean the Grand Theater? Are we talking to the drunk one? <laughs> yeah. Look at me. I've been away from home for too long. I must be missing that moon. <laughs> sure. But it's no big deal. The Grand Theater here looks much better than the moon back home. It's just magnificent. What, what I'm thinking is the fact that Papeshi, this is their home world, so that means that he's been off in other worlds. They told me not to sell everything okay. I had just to come to Pentacony. How short-sighted. Yeah, of course not. Selling everything you had? Why would you go to such lengths? Sure. Why? Can't you see? Life back home is miserable. It's not really living at all. But always being happy isn't really living at all, is it? It's better to be here at Pinnacone. No pain, no worries about tomorrow, just sweet dreams. You can do whatever you want. That's what I call living. <laughs> is this truly living? No. <laughs> huh? What did you say, young lady? Good, you don't recognize me. I didn't me. quite catch that. Nothing. <laughs> oh, it's nothing, sir. You see, the traffic on Glock's Avenue can be dangerous. How about I ask a Bloodhound family member to escort you to Idine Park over no, there? No, just hit, just so hit me. So you can continue enjoying your sweet dream. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. No wonder you are the leader of this sweet dream. You're totally a lifesaver. You recognize him, but you don't recognize her? See you around, Mr. Sunday. And uh, it was nice chatting with you. <laughs> What's up, sister? This is the land of the dreams. But why do they live like this? Dreams? The man we ran into... He doesn't seem happy at all. Exactly. Even though sweet dreams are nice, they're just illusions. But for him, they're the only way to survive, even if it means giving up on reality. That's not really living at all. Hmm. I suppose you have a point. But, in my opinion, that's how most people live their lives. Um, why do you say that? You think that man is not actually living, but that's not quite accurate. Even without Panacone, people create their own illusions called self-value. You mean self-confidence? People believe they have a predetermined value to fulfill. Gaining value means gaining power, and those deemed worthless are seen as the weak. Don't call me out like this. However, Value doesn't come out of thin air, and there's a limit to it. To accumulate value, people have to take from others. A zero sum so, game? The weak get exploited and oppressed. Are you suggesting that this is not how things should be? No. Yes, actually, yes. Exactly. But, ironically, people don't think there's anything wrong with it. Because they uphold the illusory notion of self-value. And even the weak believe in it. Mm. Survival of the fittest. That's where all the tragedies in the world come from. People come to the sweet dream in Panacone to escape from that reality and find solace. That's not all survival of the fittest. I mean, I'm quite sure... To other degrees, like if you fall in love with somebody but they don't love you back, that that can be a tragedy. Uh, the, and like, death is a tragedy. It's not just that. No tragedies exist here. Only happiness. Although in its nascent form. Isn't that the same paradise we yearn for in our dreams? Sounds horrifying. 
Perhaps that man is just an exception. Let's not jump to conclusions. We should experience the dreamscape ourselves. Speak, Adam! Just as I did at Dreamflux Reef. Yes. Seeing is believing. I'll accompany you. The Dream Master hasn't shown up So we're not going yet. to the secret location? So we have some time for a stroll. Therefore, if, if it's out in the open, there'll be plenty of guests seeing it. I mean, seeing them. Pity! I wonder if exercise... Glad to meet you again, Robin. How are the preparations for the Charmony Festival coming along? We're all so excited about it. This sparkle. Uh, it's going smoothly. Thanks for making the trip to join the festival. You're too kind, Robin. It's a pleasure to have guests from all over the universe celebrating day and night. I can't stand being lonely or bored, so this jubilant dreamscape is perfect for me. The thing is, human beings, well, it's true by value of other people, but also be creative and all this other stuff. Humans don't do well when they don't have an outlet for like creativity or feeling pr productive in the sense that it's outside of having to be productive to continue like surviving and living. But if this went on forever, would it get boring too? <sighs> nah, not at all. Who would get tired of having so much fun? Okay, the, the, number one, your brain is made differently and to a certain degree there's uh, uh, your brain uh, dopamine levels will get used to it so you need more and more dopamine to be able to um, reach the same highs as before. Every day, you get to wear fancy clothes, uh, explore all sorts of dream bubbles, indulge in delicious food without gaining weight, and you never get old or sick. As long as you can afford a room, this place is the ultimate but paradise. But you aged the outer world, too. But you know that only a few things can be brought back from the dreamscape to reality, right? That's exactly why I don't plan on bringing anything back. Just enjoying the dream itself is good enough for me. I, I mean, I'm not one of those long-living species. I only have around 60 so or 70 still age years outside of it, lifetime, like, like, and uh, there's so much to worry about. Being happy here is pure bliss. But it, it has to... It doesn't also invict exist on the vacuum because people have to create it and keep Only in this sweet dream can i truly feel like i'm in control of my life and fate who would want to go back to reality after experiencing this bliss? i mean uh, sunday you're the one that works in administration to try and keep things running therefore there'll always be people who are being exploited to some degree because you have to work I to create genuinely this genuinely wish you all the happiness in do the world do not consider that exploitation or and I wish you a fantastic performance, Robin! I'm off to the blue hour for the ball. See you later. <sighs> Seems like that guest's perspective didn't resonate with you either. She had a valid point. I could sense her genuine happiness. It's just that... What you're trying to say is, she thinks she's in control of her life. But in reality, she's just escaping from reality and seeking solace in this sweet dream. Once she steps out of this sanctuary, everything will be lost. Well, she did make mention of being able to afford a room, didn't she? However, the paradise in our dreams, it doesn't have to end. This is Sunday? No. And the paradise we yearn for shouldn't be just a fleeting dream either. Also, just because it's one person paradise doesn't mean it's another person's. Like, I would hate this. It may be fun to visit for a while, but I would absolutely hate this. The scenery in this dreamscape is truly like, breathtaking, isn't it? After a certain point, you know, you get used to it, and it stops being special. It becomes mundane. Oh, Robin. 
Can't believe I'm meeting you in person here. What an honor. You're right. Even though time stands still in this dreamscape, it always feels fresh. I find something new every time. Yeah, because people, some people are working on making new things. They're working. A philosophical mind. I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, not at all. No. With little time left, I yearn for meaningful conversations, especially with someone as esteemed as you. In paradise, you nobody dies, chat? but these people will die. It's my pleasure. No need to be formal. Just speak your mind. You said, with little time left. Please, forgive me for being blunt. But is that why you came to Penacony? I mean, think of what the, uh, Shinjo Alliance. The problem with that. <laughs> yeah. I was part of a war, and while escaping from the Sarkozian mothership, I got exposed to some radioactive materials. All out, you know, and things. Then, all my comrades died, and my hometown was wiped out by neutron bombardments. I couldn't bear to live with everything I knew gone. How heart-wrenching. I hope the family has been able to help you. They have, and I'm truly grateful for that. They provided me with a comfortable room, the most advanced life support services in the cosmos, and a stellar team of caregivers. Yeah, that costs money. My physical body is now in the dream pool, sustained by life support. The me you see here is whole, rational, and no different from any other person. But I can't say the same for the me in the hotel room. It costs money! My true appearance. Paradise. Yeah. I hope you never have to witness it, Robin. To uh, keep paradise running. So, you'll be living forever in this dreamscape, right? No, un until the body gives out. <laughs> Just being able to live at all is good enough for me. Uh, whether it's in this dreamscape or not, well, I don't really have much say in the matter. My world has been torn apart. And my life could end any second. So, even if this whole place is an illusion, it's still my paradise. And I'll treasure every moment I spend here. Mm. <laughs> How I envy those everlasting things. Paradise. That old man's story. It's so tragic. Fortunately, this sweet dream gives him joyful memories to hold on to for the rest of his life. I mean, short life. That's precisely why this sweet dream in Penacony exists. The dude, did, you're missing my, the point for Gallagher and all this other. However, even this sweet dream has its limitations. While it provides solace to the disillusioned, it can't completely eliminate pain in reality. I'm also going to point out, and the key of this also pointing out, there will be a way out. Penacone is already and pass, on the right track. Try and get it to, you know, all over the universe kind of thing? No. Is that the final plan? Is the, you know, since the, you know, black hole, whatever is uh, expanding? Um, sparkle. Sparkle. S -s sparkle. <laughs> Look what we have here. A lovely young lady. Brother, what a surprise to see you again. Sparkle. Show yourself. Your trick won't work on us. I've heard that a skilled maths fool received an invitation too. That must be you, right? Did you enjoy yourself? Barely. The people here are way too gullible. A little bait is all it takes for them to bite. 
and they run away at the slightest hint of danger. In other words, they're naive and cowardly. Yes. Now that you've had your fill, it'd be wise to leave before it's too late. The music of the Harmony doesn't tolerate discord. What? Uh. Now that you have the real Robin, I'm useless? Oh, how disheartening. I've done so much for the family. You should be thanking me, because if it weren't for me cleaning up this mess, Penacone would still be in shambles. Don't... That was a personal request from the head of the Iris family, and it has nothing to do with us. Step aside and stop causing trouble for the Charmony Festival. The fact that she already was here and Robin wasn't found dead the means Charmony that there was already a plan or something? <laughs> Do you think you can scare me? You think I have no idea what you're planning? I don't care what you're thinking, chicken wing boy. But I'm pretty sure our lovely Robin won't be appearing on stage. After all, you're well aware of what a sorry state this dreamscape is in under the banner of Harmony. Hanakoni, the land of the dreams. Is this truly the paradise you desire? No. Stop it. Nope. <laughs> What's the rash, chicken wing boy? Did I get chicken. you? Bop, 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 bop. Our paradise is none of your concern, masked fool. Leave now. Or the family won't tolerate you anymore. Your voice is going, Robin. All right, all right. I'll go. But Robin, I suggest you seriously consider this. Do you really believe those living in dreams can escape pain and find true happiness? <sighs> well, I've done my part. And now I'm simply waiting for the fireworks to begin. Here, the last two gifts for both of you. And don't lose them. If by some unfortunate chance unfortunate the Charming chance. Festival starts against all odds, remember to use them during the show. And it'll be thrilling. Bang! I thought the... I, I heard, heard the raven clock ringing. calling in the distance. It seems the Dream Master will arrive soon. He is a raven. Okay, cool, cool. The, 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 boy, the, the poem. Um, but also, I thought that there was no... Uh, it's the moment before midnight, it's not supposed to... The Let's wait here for the Dream Master clock to arrive. isn't supposed to ring. Okay. By the way, brother, I heard you no longer have a sweet tooth. Back when we were kids, you used to steal my desserts. <coughs> Seems like a lot has changed during my absence. What exactly happened? No death destruction. Well, someone has to stay awake even in this sweet dream. Which means that you're below the people who deserve happiness? But that someone doesn't have to be you or anyone in particular. You're carrying too much on your shoulders, brother. The paradise in our dreams. It shouldn't be like this. Yeah, you should experience it too. Hanakoni is nothing more than a dream. It can't erase the worries and pain of reality or bring true happiness. It only offers an escape from reality. Nothing more. Remember the old man we met earlier? Without this dream, he might have completely lost himself. He was still dying. That might be true, but... Even without Penacone, he could have chosen another path. As far as I know, the Intelligentsia Guild has been promoting their rehabilitation techniques for a long time now. That path may have been more ordinary and challenging. But now, he is receiving hospice care in a comatose state, and his fate is sealed. Is Penacone granting oh. these people a future? Is it taking it away from them? Yes. Well, don't forget this. Not everyone really has a future. Sunday, is something going to happen with you? The future for humanity is like the sky for birds. People mistakenly believe that flight is dying? inherent to birds. 
because they've never witnessed those birds crashing to their death. I mean, it is a creepy thing. To be basically walking around and then you hear this thud. Do you remember how we took in that little Charmony dove when we were young? It died? Yeah. We took care of it. Provided food and water, groomed its feathers. And later, when I decided to leave Penacony, I opened the cage and set it free. Well, I... I didn't mention what happened to it in my letters, because I didn't want to upset you. It died? Shortly after you left, it crashed to its death right in front of your window. I mean, it got the chance. I had surmised as much. I knew you wouldn't have avoided mentioning the bird for no reason. It managed to live longer than it was. Despite that unfortunate outcome, I still believe it was the right decision. Birds aren't meant to spend their lives in cages. They belong in the sky. Even if they can't fly. But here's the thing. If there are birds in this world that can never fly, can we really assert that they belong in the sky? Yeah, that rhymes. Um, as a, a disabled person... Um... I understand my limitations. But I don't want to be denied everything that somebody else can have that's normal. Are you implying that the same goes for humans too? They've been saying this metaphor for a while, so yes. Let's take the Astral Express as an example. The Nameless made tremendous efforts to bridge worlds, gaining fame across the universe. However, only a few extraordinary individuals can endure such a perilous journey. Our choice. That's because the pursuit of the Trailblaze exceeds the capabilities of ordinary humans. Otherwise, why would this path be filled with broken rails, an abandoned express, and even a fallen eon? Our, our choice! That's just sophistry. If that were true, then only the powerful would have the right to determine the future. It's against harmony. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happens. Another name for the future is self-value. No, it is not! While this world has its fair share of heroes who inspire people and garner admiration for their heroic deeds, the majority of ordinary people will never become heroes in their lifetime. And that's fine! I'm okay with people not noticing me, like, not all the other stuff. What matters is those in the life uh, that I've met in this life. You know, kind of thing that I've uh, interacted with and all the other Some stuff. Some are born weak and vulnerable. Some find themselves trapped in unfortunate circumstances. Some fall victim to malice and cowardice. When it comes to survival, everyone is equal. No, they aren't. And the weak can only watch as their value gets constantly diminished by external forces. I mean, the value such as getting older, but... <sighs> That's why we should care for the weak and support them as if their suffering were our own. That's what the Odes of Harmony have always taught us. While the harmony holds noble aspirations, the strong will always be strong, and the weak will always be weak. But that kind of attitude, yes. Even in this carefree dream, human nature contains greatness, but it also harbors inherent weaknesses that can't be eradicated. I mean, true to some degree. But it's better than doing nothing. In the accepting end, accepting it. If people can't even secure their own survival, they won't care about the illusory future of equality. As long as the law of survival of the fittest prevails, there will always be fledglings crashing to their death. So you're just gonna accept it and not try and change it? That's 
But if people don't live for the future, do they merely exist for survival? If even you, my brother, don't believe that the harmony will save the weak, then which eon can make our dreams come true? Ability? I don't know. People often forget that when the first bird took flight, the entire world envisioned a future where no more fledglings would ever crash to their death. Did they? Are you reading, sister? What are you reading? Mr. Gopher Wood gave me a picture Tidalus. book. It's about the story of the harmonic strings. If I could become a chord master, I'd like to summon... Dominicus, the harmonious choir. I want to sing with everyone and spread our wishes so that all can feel happiness and joy. <laughs> I see. Then, I would summon the harmonious choir too. Don't you... Copycat. Have a wish of your own, brother? See your sister have any? Yeah, of course I do. It's just that it includes your wish and everyone else's. I long for a true paradise where everyone can find peace. Well, well peace. Peace does not mean, mean free from conflict, it just means free from war. Then, let's build a stage there. And invite everyone to our performance so that both our wishes come true through the power of the harmonious choir it's a deal then yeah it's a deal but how can i become a chord master hmm maybe you will have to become a star first eight systems to you're space. back sooner than I thought. Any results? Uh, yes. And now, it's up to us to forge ahead. Woo! <laughs> Since he's already carried out his last wish, my final mission is complete. Is it? But pardon me if I sound curt. It's good to have determination. The path Mikhail left for you is not an easy one to tread. Fucking bring it! Why else would he have chosen to sleep in solitude, staking everything on some nameless in the future? Because that's the path. And we have the numbers, and in numbers comes strength. So that might just delay your inevitable a little more. Yes, I am the. I have a Stellaron in me. Oh God, any more encouraging words? Yes, we're all gonna die, eventually. As I see it. Relying on Weld's negotiations alone is far from enough. Regardless of whether the other party will be compliant, negotiating simply allows us to meet them as equals and won't grant us an upper hand. True, but also negotiation never actually means that you are meeting somebody as an equal. That's being naive. Panacone is our rival's home turf. And we already have very As few chips left to play with. He's smart. Rather than idly sit around while the family's got us blocked off, an offensive approach might be a wiser course of action. Violence! Violence! We're more familiar with the Stellaron's properties than most. And since it's the key well, to I mean, stabilizing the sweet dream, it's vital to the family's interests. But I mean, By I thought they knew it well enough to create interests, the dream. They're bound to retaliate hastily. And as the saying goes, haste makes waste. That's right. As long as we pose a threat to the Stellaron, either with words or otherwise, we have a chance at gaining the upper hand. But the problem is, on the eve of the Charmony Festival opening, how exactly are we going to get close to the theater? Family security will be airtight. And if we brute force it, even if we succeed, it's too risky. Goes up out of nowhere. Also, violence. Also, isn't the IPC planning on attacking? Do you think that they'd pick the time that the Charmy Festival starts or whatever? Hmm. To attack? So, no one's gonna say anything? Then I'll raise my hand. I know the answer to this question. Hmm. 
master stroke. We're making time for the master stroke. We're making Why reference. Why are you speaking like the general of the law, Fu? Because it's fucking hilarious. So I heard that before the Charmony Festival begins, there will be a pageant to kick off the festival. Oh, I forgot it's about this in the, the teaser. So glad TM I mean, in festivity the... auditions or something, and it's going to be held in the moment of Scorch Sand. I hate everything. As long as we clinch the top spot, we'll be able to attain the title of Festive Superstar. Ow. And be able to personally back I mean, the I can sing. I don't know if my character can sing. And, and not that that's important. Oh, are we going to so dance? What's crucial is that we can enter the Grand Theater before the audience arrives. So, how do we go about participating in these festivity auditions? Murder? <laughs> I've already procured special invite tickets from Miss Robin's fan club. The fuck were you gonna tell me? Uh, to tell you the truth, I had been preparing to join the auditions all along. But now it looks like even if I scrape through, I probably still won't have the chance to shake Miss Robin's hand. She was just here! So they're still running this thing, huh? It was originally just a publicity stunt. Set up by Mikhail to drum up attention. But it looks like it might be worth a shot. We'll follow Marge's plan. Mr. Doing... Gallagher, America's got talent or anything like that. I'm afraid I won't have the time. As a virtual character, I've already completed my final mission. Whether Penacone can awaken from this dream is all down to you. Oh my god. Fourth wall break. He knows he's in a game. Should we ever cross paths again? I'd love for you to visit the express. All right. I'll have to add to that data bank of yours you've got on the express. Don't change data. Don Hung will murder you. Miss Firefly, we thank you for all your support. We're faced with a formidable enemy. As long as the Astral Express and Stellaron Hunter's objectives are aligned, we're willing to cooperate with you. We've already come this far together. I'd like to join you for the rest of your journey on Penacone. I'm pleased that we can finally fight shoulder to shoulder. I couldn't ask for a better ending. You're gonna die. This is also the spirit of the Trailblaze. Better ending. Now, everyone, let's prepare to move out. Roll out! You know, uh, the, the if you have ambition, dreams, and the drive to your no pressure or anything. Yes. Oh wow, they've really outdone themselves. Where's everybody oh, else? I'm starting to get excited. I'm not. Behold, here come four friends with spirit time. Where are the others? No. Uh, is he talking about us? Do you see anybody else here? Yes, you. There's no doubt about it. I see you have all the potential of a superstar in you. Flattery will get you somewhere, but just not here. Excuse me, you four. What are you hoping to get out of all this? A plot. As the last group of contestants, how confident are you in overcoming all of the challenges? Hi, Adventuring's voice actor. Would you be open to a brief exclusive interview with us? It'll be quick. No. Your journey is long and fraught with peril, yet under a sky blanketed the by hunts. banners, you buy for the crown. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The sword and rose. Protect the beauty. The beauty, the beauty. First adventuring, the and not adventuring, Arjun. Uh, the, the, the redhead. A knight's head is hard as steel. Oh, they're Brother they're all Lance from the different. Brother stubborn as a heel. We don't all have to be winners. Us. But if we don't have fun, <laughs> we'd all be sinners. I am a sinner whether I have fun or not. People are pouring in. It kind of feels like all sorts of baddies are showing up. Do you see anybody well, else let's here? Let's get in there quickly and enter the competition. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please make way. <laughs> make way. Coons. 
Uh, don't they have a Dean coins or whatever? Go away. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the director of Soul Glad's factory, I Dean Leader. My four friends, introduce yourselves to the audience across the cosmos. I'm a bit Silver Wolf and Kafka was watching this. I don't want to introduce myself. Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Himiko, a nameless from the Astral Express. And Himiko's amazing. And these are my companions. Ahem. <clears throat> don't you guys need to hide your identities? <laughs> no. I can't hide it anyways. Pemiconi is plastered with our posters. And because the Astral Express is so well known, the family won't dare to make any rash moves. You say that. Good idea to have a talent show in our pivotal moment in our story. So I'm the galactic baseballer and he say cheese. Hello everyone, I'm hello everyone. You know, I, I'm gonna Hello everyone, I'm Ishna and she's March 7th. Hello everyone! I already March invented her. 7th! I'm an ordinary girl who loves adventures! As a nameless. Hello everyone! I'm Firefly. I am also an ordinary girl who enjoys adventures. We got the girl gang here. So it's a bunch of nameless guests. This final face-off is bound to be spectacular. Time is precious. My four friends, come with me. I don't wanna. Grab a bottle of Soul Glad to make your dreams a blast. I don't wanna. No, n now everybody shows up. I, it, I hate that I feel like I'm going to be hit by that. <laughs> Sorry, was I bothering you? Chirp, chirp! It's really noisy here, so even if you hide in here to sing, no other birdies can hear you. Chirp! But can you... I was like, can you even hear yourself? But he answered that. That's really too loud. I can't even hear myself sing. Jerk! It's pretty good. You could he you could hear it. I'm so embarrassed. Chirp, don't look at me. I just want to find another hole to hide in. Chirp. I'm not busy being distracted once again. Perhaps this set new because it's the most joyful moment moments in the audition, but also it's some sad it's because its incongruity with its surroundings it quickly vanishes from your sight. <sighs> I also have to pledge to closely guard the privacy of all participants. Feel free to register with the device. I'm uh, wait, I can't leave because it's a Fine. This place is buzzing. Yeah. That's right. This venue is a miniature representation of that time known as the era filled with boundless possibilities. America's Got Talent? American Idol? Yeah. Hello! Welcome to the Origami Bird Flying Race. May you attain the best results, Sheriff? Let's take a look at your wings. Oh, you must be here to spectate the races, sure. But even if you're not participating, you mustn't slack off in your training, or you'll be pushed around by Boss Stone, sure. Oh, there's another birdie that needs to get some guidance over there. See you later, my wingless friend, sure. <laughs> that one's just the answer. The... Um, okay. <laughs> Qualified. Because I broke all those up. <laughs> okay, meanies. Break all boss. Auction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Actually, I have enough. I'm really not expecting to get. Beneath the moonlight, an old man falls asleep. He's given his entire life to the land he loved, his old friends, and the trailblaze. Now he has reached the end of trailblaze and falls into the longest dream of his life, leaving only his empty shell in the mortal plane, like dream, the dream bubble once infused someone's, with someone's treasure. Now you share the same starry sky. The two trailblazing expeditions intersect. How do you feel about this? We are but passengers on each other. It seems you believe that Trailblaze is to be a lonely and bitter journey that points straight to the end. How fascinating. You're not so different from Tyrion, though he might not be very talkative. If you walk the same path as he, he definitely put his full trust. I wonder what all the other... Weapon for too many causes. Wounded here, I found reason. I, I guess that's Tyrion. Slumber Town. Isn't it nice to have nothing? It's nice. I like this kind of life. Any way of looking at it? No. No! Nameless, your arrival reminds me of the grand occasion when Penacony was first established. I was still a young, bright-eyed lad back then, lured here by the watchmaker's ads, full of zeal and ready to make my first fortune in life. How fucking old are you? Once, during a particularly grueling day, I passed out and was resuscitated by a drink from Mr. Sousa. That it's so glad was has since been etched in my mind. The stuff that, that was made was what drove so me glad. to create the soul glad that we all know and love today. When it stinks. The dream chasing I mean, era was plant. truly a wondrous time. Oh, I miss those days and the watchmaker. Scorch Sand Hall is my homage to that time of boundless possibilities. All right, Molly Wonka. I wholeheartedly hope you make it to the finish and emerge as the next superstars of Penacony. Now then, is there anything you'd like to say before the competition officially begins? Hey, Bob! How about television? Can we get the ball rolling already? I ain't got all day, peach. I'm sure we're gonna take an L on the in this. I can feel it. Now we'd win. <laughs> That's the trailblazing spirit. How about you, Miss March? Hello, everyone. Next up, hey, for the smile. Are how are you doing? Where I'm going to break this what are you even playing? Record. Trailblazing into the uncharted and challenging the limits. <laughs> That's Miss March seven for you. How about Miss March? Hi, hi. I hope that. By the end of this journey, everyone will have achieved the outcome that they hoped for. Firefly, you keep sounding like you're gonna die with all the things. Ah, <laughs> a 
wonderful wish. Miss Himiko, what are you expecting from your team? Safety first, everyone. <laughs> yes, Mommy Himiko. <laughs> Simple words, but full of force. I'm gonna get stabbed again, right? Satisfactory? Nice! Say, art project or like, uh, I know you do cro knitting or crocheting? I love your, um, little mushrooms that you make. They're so Need to go to bed. Okay, that's fine. I hope you sleep well, hun. And give your daughter a hug for me. Down, down, cat, cat. Cat here. Man, I hope everything goes well. I hope you sleep well, and thank you again for the raid. Waiting for you are three stages, oh, no. each connected to that era. The first two stages offer two distinct paths to choose from with unique challenges on each route. Or are they violence? And in the last stage, violence. you will face off against a champion who has defended the title to this very day. A beloved contender whose but noble virtues are But you have this only once every hundred years. Or, or do you have this once a year kind of thing? Because this is the Charmity Festival thing. Those are the rules. Simple. Everyone clear? Now then, I hereby announce that the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises, has started. What? 33rd Festival. You mean. Those are like. 33rd, like, episodes in the 20th season? Is that what you mean? Or is everyone as the Charmony Festival is drawing is closer, how many people we must reach the end as quickly as possible. Factoring in efficiency and safety, splitting up into two groups is the best choice. You mean groups can win? March and I haven't known Miss Firefly for too long and aren't overly familiar with her. It'd probably be better if the two of you paired up. She's not that hard to get to know. Fine by me. Let's do it. All right, I don't have a problem with that. Hold up, has any of you even bothered to ask me for my consent to this? I know, right? Enough chit chat, let's do this. Say what now? I get to pair up with Firefly, there's... Yeah, sure. No catch? We'll split into the assigned groups then. Let's not waste time. Really wanted to say the consent one, but I also like that one because... I flat my girl. Hiding back there. A any more birds? Birds. You taking a bath? Slurp, what are you looking at? Never seen a bird drinking water? The soda! Slurp. Clocky can beat up Boss Stone once he downs some Soul Glad. The speedster could go quicker with Soul Glad. If that's the case, Slurp, as long as I drink enough Soul Glad, I'll become rocket as fast as a rocket. I'll surpass Boss Red in no time. Chirp! Watch this. This stupid bird's gonna go turbo. Chirp! But it's not drinking water. You said drinking water! Uh, don't drink too s system hours before a contest. Participants who ignore this warning will be responsible for the consequences. The, the fuck? Hi. Welcome to the first stage of Soul Glad Enterprises 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season. Dreamplay Fantasia! In this stage, you can choose between two challenges. The school of acting or school of action. I'm gonna act. In the school of acting challenge, you have to complete three performances from three scripts and move the panel judges. 
in the School of Action Challenge, you have to defeat three groups of enemies hey, one of them looks easy. and Sounds reach easier. the end. Now, make your choice. Because I hate me. Pin pinball, okay. <laughs> Good thing I don't get motion sick or anything. Okay. Okay. I, I bet nobody gets motion sickness in this at all. Welcome to the school of acting stage. A acting state. Okay. Shining, light speed, magnificent. Like a star that can't be caught. I am the birdie that belongs to the top of the podium. Chirp! My friend, did this superstar make your heart skip a beat, chirp? Only stand you. <laughs> Don't be hasty. I'll conquer you with my charm, chirp. Goodbye. Another stage beckons. I hope you'll be cheering me on. Chirp! How may I hate you today? Competitors, allow me to introduce the rules of this challenge to you. There are three stages up ahead. On each, you will find an outline of a script. These three scripts were written by the legendary filmmaker, the watchmaker, and depict Wait, various legendary, stories the, the from the Cody's what, what, era the, the, okay. of pioneering. Filmmaker. Okay. Your yeah, task script. is to bring those moments to life. Find the right words and act convincingly to make the judges feel the script's intended emotions. I will work oh, very hard I at wish that. You a successful performance. I will work very hard at that. Oh no. Also, a bit of trivia. The record score for this stage is held by a participant <laughs> with fiery red hair. His exceptional performance brought even the strictest judge to tears. <sighs> we are running out of time, so let's get this over with quickly. We got him here. He's here? Of course he'd be here. Of course he'd be here. Why am I questioning this fact? So pretty. Since you come as a pair, I'll prep a two-person scene for you. Wait, Firefly is so pretty. Yes. These two. Are you ready? Romance, romance, romance. Ready. Envision that you both, driven by the spirit of exploration, oh good, are arriving at the land of dreams that is Panacone for the first time. But instead of lush lands. You find yourselves amidst swirling sands and desolation. Far from the paradise the watchmaker described. I mean, Bellabog, except it's not sand. You're driving an old clunker through the wilderness of the dreamscape. Oh, it says very in the cold, so Bellabog. The wind, choking on the dust. And suddenly, a fierce the memory wind. zone meme blocks your path. Oh, no. Now, Miss Greyhair. What line would you deliver? Miss Gray Hair! Your disappointment Miss Gray Hair! I hate all of these, but it's disappointment. What incarnation is this hellhole? The watchmaker is a big fat liar. Very good! Now, though you're disappointed, your screen partner is conversely very enthusiastic. Now, young lady, you will say... This, this is great! I love living on the... wild side! Very good! Very intense! And then, we cut to the story's 
next scene. You find a job mending the rails. Ah, the work but the days the are long, road. and your endurance oh, can't keep up. And you day. finally collapse in the endless expanse of the desert. Cool. Suddenly, sweet rain falls from the sky, wetting your lips and arousing your spirits. Oh. Now, Miss Greyhair. What line will best express your surprise at this moment? Praise be Mother uh, Gaia, Gaia the Trap Cyclops? They picked the most horrible ju- Wowee! Pinnacone, my Pinnacone, you truly abound with opportunities. But at this moment, your partner yet gazes into the sky, both her eyes closed. The raindrops fall, blurring her vision, and she tragically says... Uh, land of... Uh, perhaps we were never meant to succeed. Right? <laughs> Fantastic! Both of you have an incredibly solid foundation in dialogue delivery. <coughs> However, <laughs> minds aren't everything in a performance. Please continue this story on the second stage. Up next, you'll be challenged with a body language test. Puck. I hope these tests won't take too long. Hi, autistic person. Think you could read, uh, body language? They're gonna make- probably make it so fucking obvious that even I would get it, but I mean... I fell asleep again. How many times was this, sure? Thanks for waking me. Oh, I won't wouldn't be won't be able to complete my work again, sure. Rest more. I don't want to become a batty birdie or give anyone trouble, sure. Boss Red often tells me to rest too, but I've never seen him slack off, sure. Unless there's a hack to get into the zone, chirp. Sure. I'll have to teach get him to teach me, chirp. Sure. Adderall. <coughs> Remember, kids, don't do drugs. Uh, unless they're prescribed. <sighs> Hi. Here, you two are required to skillfully utilize body language to portray the story context I've laid out for you. Oh, I do declare. Oh, Picking sorry. up from where we left off. A heavy downpour saves you both stranded in the desert. This rain quenches the anger in your heart. You look to your companion, now completely devoid of fighting spirit, wanting to comfort her. The quicksand eats us all. At this moment, what should you do to make her laugh? Why would I? Good. She would murder me with a... Uh? What? <laughs> I am now a dog. Right answer. Your companion sees you rolling about in the sand and thinks about the arduous obstacles along this journey. She can't help but let loose a laugh, rekindling hope in her heart. And so this girl... You know, I just got sand everywhere, and it's wet sand, which isn't as bad as dry sand, but it's still gonna, like, when it starts drying, be everywhere. Um, gonna get back on my feet and keep moving forward. A tug at the heartstrings! The story continues to develop. The heavy rain leads you both to sense a business opportunity, so you start venturing into the umbrella industry. But just as the business begins how to long pick is the up, rain? competitors what did I start the flooding the market with of? low price goods, squeezing your Who market share. Who is there share. to buy the umbrellas? You have no choice. The goods you stockpiled at high prices have to be sold at a loss. This is a pretty self-destructive move, which drives your business to the brink of bankruptcy. At this moment, what would you, who refuses to admit defeat, decide to do? 
for another use for him. Stand up and smack the table. How about I flip the table? How does that sound? And the table rise up. They think you'll back down. Impossible. Dream chasers can be knocked down, but never knocked out. Fantastic. But it's a pity. Your friend does not agree. Seeing that you're up to your eyeballs in debt, she sees nothing but despair in her future. And then... And then... Uh, I leave Panacone in utter disappointment! Is that okay? <gasps> of course! Absolutely! I was this close to tears! Both of you possess exceptional acting talent! Get the fuck out! However... The true test is yet to come. You're about to encounter the harshest judge this show has ever seen. You'll need to rely on perfect performances if you want to win them over. Sure. Ever you say. Do I have to add, uh, is it gonna be both uh, action and dialogue now? So, since you were working me up to this kind of thing? N not because I uh, understand game mechanics and they're slowly like training it. Is there a uh, upper? That's a bow tie. Yankity yank. Back, the show's about to begin. Chirp! My dear, this is this Dreamville's. Place of opportunity, the scorched sand wonderland everyone's talking about, Chirp. Those bad birdies must have duped us. Just look at this barren wasteland. Not even a pebble for this building to be found, Chirp. Think of a minor setback is gonna deter this brave bir this brave birdie, Chirp. Never, Chirp. Sorry, dear. I can't stand. I don't know what accents I'm going through. With this downtrodden life, I'm going back to the great tree, Chirp. No. Please don't leave me alone, Chirp. I want to leave with you, Chirp. Okay, it's two different persons doing a dialogue. Full marks. I'm good. Uh, pity. Hope you praise. We'll keep working harder, Chirp. You know that is an actual acting um, category at competitions where you do dialogue. Um dialogue but it's one person and they have to do different tones my sister did that for some of her performances welcome to the final stage actually all the scenarios that you previously encountered were all from the film once upon a time in dreams cool two companions arrive on panacone with nothing but a dream their desire for achievement is met with continuous setbacks. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, one continues on, despite spiraling into debt, while the other concedes defeat and leaves. Okay. Many years later, their paths cross once more in the thriving Penacony. Yet, they refuse to acknowledge each other because... because pride, hurt feelings. Against the backdrop of a revitalized Penacone, the joy of reunion mixes with the sorrow I mean, this of is a separation. Probably, you know, show off of being strangers. Nikoni. And the shyness of a long-awaited encounter. I guess the good thing. All converging at this very moment. Give it a shot. Try and convey this bittersweet scene to me. Bring it to life with precise and emotive acting. What do you say? Oh, is this ever going to end? I know! Why don't you try that clockwork thing you used before? But, but this is on television. This is on television! Not distracted, shut up. How 
are we going to manipulate television if we're... Your performance is far from satisfactory. The fuck up. I haven't done anything. Just gonna go straight to happy. I never imagined that such a sad scene could be portrayed by you two in such a joyful and heartwarming way. Two people sharing a long cherished friendship, as if time and status meant nothing to them. It shouldn't. Huh? But we haven't even done anything! Is his imagination running wild again? Yeah, good thing it's not being filmed. Brilliant! Your portrayal outdoes the original. <laughs> it's simply beautiful. Okay, sweetie. Oh, okay. We have passed the test. Good thing. We ought to hurry good up. Good thing these weren't being Stella filmed. Do, do we break the, the break the camera? Break the camera. That's how we get. No business like show business. There's no business like. Congrats to both of you for clearing the stage, but more importantly, are you having fun? No, I'm questioning my life fun decisions. Fun is more important than success. True. Look at the time. You finished much faster than that red-haired contestant did. Argentine? That red-haired contestant. Who is that exactly? You'll find out eventually. I already know. But only if you clear the next test first. Welcome to the second stage of the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival in the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises. Gunfire to... time! You have, to you have the option to choose gunfire and undergo Brother Hanu's trial, or time, where you'll face Clucky's trial. I will shoot. And now. Make your choice. I will be violent. Violence is the answer. Let's go. I hope the seats in here are very, very safe for the... Gunslinger. I'm trying to think of a gunslinger that could be there. I mean, boot hill. Dear friends, welcome to the enchanting universe created by the Watchmaker. I know it's made with the Watchmaker. Awaiting you is the morally dubious yet ever charming character from the animated Clocky series, Hanu. Yeah, okay. It is said that these cartoon characters were inspired by the Watchmaker's own experiences. According to research by Clocky Scholars, the original Hanu of Clocky reality Scholar. shared Clocky a scholars. deep friendship with the Watchmaker, akin to comrades in arms. Enter into the world of Hanu via the TV by the entrance, and partake in an enchanting and suspenseful story with him. Good luck in there. If it's a gunfire trial, we should be able to settle this with a fight, right? I hope this won't waste too much of our time. <laughs> it will. Chest hair, chest feathers. I tried my best just to hide myself, and you still found me, Chip. And everyone hid in the balloon. I was the only one who chose a unique hiding spot, Chip. I even got upside down to conceal my hair, Charp. You mean feathers? I've seen this a million times. What? Other birdies also know about the statue's hiding spot? I wasn't the first one who found it, Charp. This is unacceptable, Charp. Just you wait. You'll never be able to find me the next round, Charp, Charp. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, I'll say, are, are, we, are we both in control of this Hanyu character? I mean, that feels... Very good. <laughs> Looks like you've got the hang of it. 
Is it one leg, two? Uh, I control one leg and one arm, and she does the other. In this Honor's Adventure episode, Buzz or is she just watching? Gathered his battleships for an assault on Dreamville. Battleships. Old Buzzfly, Cousin Wolf, and Bombhead are all raring to go. The brave Hanu must thwart their advance and protect his home. IPC. Alas, is attacking. Hanu presently is ill-equipped to fend off the malevolent mischief makers. M -m -m -m. Which is why he is preparing to seek out the puzzle gentleman's aid. Go forth and speak to him. Go forth. Sally forth. Oh, brave Hanu, you look like you could really use some help. Do I? Long time no see, Hanu. You look pretty stressed out. How about an intense and thrilling game of Dream Jigsaw to blow off some steam? I fucking hate you. Actually, the plot dictates that you directly provide it to us. Though, all Hanu's gonna do is grunt. We really want to say to the three weaving gentlemen, but given your character's design, you can only respond with cool boof. I've ever seen you crouch down. Gosh, this is the first time I've ever seen you crouch down. You really want to say to the stream we Stream Jigsaw really that intense and thrilling. I'm good to still. Might be just the coolest flump in history. Oh my! Are you telling me that Boss Stone has rallied the villains to seize Dreamville? What a dreadful twist of fate! I know! And Tibby fell down the well as well, too! Listen closely, Hanu. I'm aware you're in need of a suitable weapon. And I also know there's one just upstairs. Yeah, but I, I apparently can't crawl. But you know what? You'll have to play an exhilarating round of Dream Jigsaw first! No Jigsaw, no moving forward! If I... S you know, jump on your foot, you know, for pain. <sighs> Down the road. Only someone as cool as you could be. Now scurry along, Hanu, but tread carefully. Two ne'er do wells are also eyeing those jigsaw pieces. Either outsmart them with the quick knockout. Okay, or okay. Sure yeah, they won't I, know, catch I know, I know, I know. I can't wait to see you finish the dream jigsaw. Best of luck, Hanu. Let's stay alert and make sure those monsters don't spot us. What's this? I saw. Look up there. If we can push that thing down. Do you think that would be the trick? No. I need to grab down there and get it. No, he stops being knocked out. Jazz this up. All right, Birdie. this alley please brother hanu i stacked these books just for you chirp it's brother hanu why is there a need to stack books for such a low step chirp chirp that had a really cool sounding her own hurry up chirp any more indecision over this matter and boss stone's lackeys will catch up chirp i'll fly out of here and distract them you'll take the chance to run chirp Jigsaw pieces. Fuck, fuck. Let's fuck, hurry back. Fuck, fuck. You don't see me. Do 
Let's see that book though. Hey, motherfucker. Having a moment, shut up. Brain! I didn't have to rotate oh any of them, my. huh? The exquisite sensation of perfect alignment. My organizational itch has been quite thoroughly scratched. In the sense that that was us putting the pieces there and it was scratching your Early itch now, in the Hanu, sense of touch that, that TV set and part of you back into your old self. Or then, just a head upstairs. Your weapon awaits you there. Are such haphazard instructions really okay? Yes. Uh, disconnecting from that thing so suddenly has left me feeling slightly disoriented. Let me go down. Wander, wander, wander. This mission. Staying in character really is this much really necessary. What exactly is he talking about? Fuck if I know. Tick tock! It's time for me to make an appearance! Ah, uh, the puck then thickens help. Flocky? Uh I can also see him. Is this character part of the show? Fuck if I know! In Dreamville, Clocky is everywhere and can do anything! Like right now! I can be your translator! Tick tock! This isn't Clocky. <laughs> Hanu says, battle! We must do battle! Oh good, I need violence. <laughs> violence. The enemy is at our doorstep! And we have no path of retreat! For the future of Dreamville! Cool, violence. <laughs> Touch that suspicious looking TV right now! I mean, I was gonna do that anyways. Why do we have to have this segue? So they just jumped inside that TV. Persona 3 ing it. I think Sheesh. Persona 3 was summer. The logic in this plot and dialogue is really being pushed to its limits. I mean, it's cartoon logic. It's Acme logic. Just, <laughs> just, just sit back and relax. Over the years, the situation behind the organization's personnel and accounting have been listed in an orderly sequence. I didn't mean to say that. Rumor has it that the family will place some kind of mimic entity into their safe. Any manner of theft would occur. Very rare. Doesn't really like to view work staring himself as. Starring himself as protagonist, but he's gone through the Clocky series over and over again. Heard. Oh, investigation. You have joined us in the seat. Chirp, what's the hurry? The hostode's coming at you again, Chirp. Such a huge ruckus. I bet not even old Buzzfly and Bombhead can sit still, Chirp. Run them out of town. Don't panic, Fred. We are nothing like those baddies who scream and shout, because by the moment the words uh, running the baddies out of town come in the minds of Brother Hanu's friends, the deed is done. Chirp! Goodbye. It's almost time for me to deploy. Glory be with me. Chirp! Okay. Well, there we go again. Ready? No. Do I have a choice? Also, no. Um. Gradually getting used to this. Huh. Who knows? I'm 
might even be able to perform some high-level moves with Hanu. Who's the fuck controlling him? Am I him? Did someone say high-level movies just now? <laughs> That's right, pal. The upcoming script is just exploding with all sorts of high-level shenanigans. Are you making that up? Are you improving this? Last saw, Hanu was preparing for battle. Suddenly, he hears heavy footsteps coming from the hallway. Malevolent mischief makers have broken into his home. M M M. But brave Hanu won't go down without a fight. He instantly sprints for the storage room, ready for a do or die showdown against the baddies. But we still don't have any weapons in hand. Yeah, shame. Guess what? Hanu's favorite bazooka just so happens to be in that storage room. <laughs> so there's a move on. Bazooka. What a coincidentally convenient plot twist. It's not really a plot twist. It would be even more awesome if the organizers allowed me to wear armor. A, a twist involves that th there was some kind of question that they wouldn't. Like, uh, I mean, there. Like, there's a conflict. There's no conflict if they give it to us. The storage room. I it's behind the shelves, right? No. was lying. There's actually a bazooka here. Really? Really? Oh, really? N now we should have a way of dealing with those baddies. This thing feels just like the Soaring Locust, too. Far enough away to count. Okay, okay. Game we play. No. Careful. It looks like we've got more company. Get ready to fire. But I already Home alone. Okay, game. You're gonna bring more friends. You, you, you cool? The fuck? Here we go again. But no big deal. We're pretty handy with this bazooka yeah, now. Yeah, but I got rid of all the expo- them out. Gimme. That should be all of them, right? No. Oh my! Oh, he's on a streak! Everyone! The stage is complete! Quickly! Head through the TV to the next stage! But if I don't wanna! to let go of this bazooka. Um, never mind. <laughs> Let's hurry over to the next stage. One shiny. Oh. In the current state. Okay, so that will be uh, out of the story. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I get. Little, little. 
little Caesar. Ha. Congratulations to both of you. Oh, you've overcome all obstacles and proven yourselves. But, uh, unfortunately, there is only one who can be Pelicone's festive superstar. Oh. In the this. final stage, you will face the defending oh. champion. If you fail, you will lose the opportunity to become the festive superstar. Oh. Welcome to the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival, yeah, 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 third yeah, 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 stage in the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises Superstar Showdown. Hey. Quick challenge. I don't think I select anything but kick his ass. Argenti. Argenti, that's how you say it. <sighs> no way. I think I just saw someone. Someone extraordinary. I, you. Can you face off against yourself? That'd be hilarious. Sure, my great friend. It's truly an honor to meet you. Not even the stars in the sky can match your heroic valor, sure. Maybe stand together to defend Dreamville's stones and branches, and so glad, sure. That sounds similar. Is that so? Maybe he doesn't like to drink slow, so glad, sure. Goodbye, I have to defend ice, so glad, or all of it will be stacked up by the other birdies later, sure. I repeat. Does this mean I get to kick his ass with his own ass? Fucking hilarious, actually, now that I think about it. Hi, I'm your doppelganger. Please wait, my beautiful ladies. By the glorious light of beauty, I never thought I'd see you again. In such turbulent times, why are you not voice acted? Your kind faces are as a spring gentle breeze bringing solace to my scorched heart. Are you a knight of beauty? Will you be participating in the Charmony Festival as well? Upon hearing of the impending festivities, I commanded the one and only to bring me to Pinnacone with full haste. Alas, in a cosmos unguarded by the beauty, disorder prevails. Thus, my passage was delayed by tending to the sick and injured. Why aren't you voiced? Fortunately, the mini rabbit, mech pilot, stray cat, duelist, galactic ninja, and quad drive peletron, along with 32 other souls in distress, all emerged from their predicament safe and sound. And I let them all hear to revel, revel in the harmony with the countless other splendid things. Is, is that what the 30... Three seasons are? I'm busy saving the world. Could you please make way? Saving the world, what a righteous act of beauty. If that's the case, no, that won't do. Rules of the contest are sacred and <laughs> avoidable, like the beauty. Um, what would be the novice choice? I'm begging you, all I speak is the truth. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you voiced? I hate this! Forgive me, my dear friends, if you cannot present infrutable evidence, I must not yield, lest I dishonor the name of the Knights of Beauty. But if what you say is true, in the name of the Beauty, let us use this faded duel to test your mettle. Though upon arrival, I was once mistaken for a towering silver-armored fugitive, y y yes, Firefly, with fl fiery red flames, due to my lack of eloquence. It matters not, for all these trials stem from the land of Dream's Beauty. What matters is the out that I stand before you, our paths have crossed. I, Argentine, 
of the battles of, uh, of the Knights of Beauty. I'm humbly requesting for a battle in the name of the Code of Chivalry with you both. If I am fortunate enough to emerge victorious, kindly grant me the passage to the crown of victory and recognize that it, Drilla the beauty is the most peerless beauty of them all. Bear witness. To <laughs> the game By is the way, I, I, this occurred to me for a second. Also, once again, g good thing I am facing off against myself. Um... My guiding light. Until I see uh, that light, I will protect all beauty. The flesh. Then he was the reigning champion. <laughs> Excuse me, I kick my own ass. It's on me. It's to be expected. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Confess. Put forth all your might. All in. Let's play for a while. Spend freely. There's no time to lose. Thank you. I, I was, I was fine. The answer. Thank you for stabbing Sparkle. Pledge thine loyalty. Right. Watch your head. The flesh wound. The dice have been yeah, cast. Yes, just a flesh wound, sweetie. Or maybe I'll take it off. The flesh wound. Yes. It's a flesh wound. Feeling spiffy? Follow my charge. I, I just noticed that the direction that we're facing, uh, my character facing versus his character is kind of hilarious. Anyways, Here. let me continue to beat myself. My oath is to a solitary... <laughs> Behold, this symbol of pure... <laughs> it's on me. Don't... <laughs> There's no time to lose. Conflict is a pitiless wound. Oh. You are fighting a gentleman. Confess. Yeah. To this. Nah. I'm not gonna. Wretched and free. Uh. Feeling spiffy? Sure, I'll play along. Uh huh. <laughs> Here, thunder. Let's Can you find the answer? Also, finally, we have violence. Yeah. No dirty I was craving tricks. It. Put forth all your might. <laughs> Watch your head. I'll go easy this time. Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Spend freely. Bear witness. To until hey, I was waiting for him to protect all beauty. Behold, this symbol of pure the dice beauty. have been bust, or maybe I'll take it off. All in. <laughs> Show no mercy. My oath is to a solitary road. Beauty is eternal. <laughs> Let the duel commence. Pledge thine loyalty. <laughs> My guiding light. Hedge your bets. It's on me. Rise to the challenge. Can you find the answer? I mean, maybe. Here, it's the answer and all your friends. Watch your head. <laughs> sure, I'll play along. Spend freely. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Put forth all your might. All in. Bear witness to honor. Until I. I will protect all beauty for a drill. The dice have bust. Hey, but it's not to be not by maybe myself. I'll I mean, I don't. Uh, to, to the Watch your head. I beat it myself. Uh, <laughs> Low self esteem, what's Confess. that? All in. 
The flesh wound. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder. Let's can you find the answer? It's on me. Put forth all your might. Flesh wound. <laughs> Watch your head. The flesh wound. Let's play for a while. Feeling spiffy? Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. My oath is to assault. That's enough. I have come to grasp the sincerity of your cause. I yield. Beautiful, beautiful, truly captivating contest. It is though you, it is through you I realize to uphold the honor of Ild Ild Idrilla. I must further hone my skills. What a beautiful lesson indeed. Go forth, my dear friend. Beautiful miss. The audition's crown is yours to claim. I shall remain here, gazing from afar as you bask in the limelight. I don't want to bask in the limelight. Joining the audience and offering you the most heartful, felt cheers and applause. We don't have much time. May fate allow us to meet again, Knight of Beauty. Firefly, are you going to survive? I I'm still having the death flag case, feeling from let's you. Let's make our way to the end. Anaconi's really thronging with talent. I hope we make it in time. I mean, I'm looking for bird, birds. <laughs> oh yes, we we will eventually make it in time if my ADHD does not cause me problems. <laughs> Also, 